Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest. Mr. Chris Chan is with us. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Dude, yeah. thank you. This is awesome. Oh, thank you, bro. We've talked about this for a while, and yeah. we finally made it happen. Two, three years ago, I came in. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was, uh, I think we're doing an experience episode. And I saw you at Air One, and you're like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, come check it out. That's what it was. He yeah, yeah he walked in and left. He was <laughs> like, oh, there's just too many cameras. Like, I only use one. Uh, how's everything going? You good? Yeah, man. Yeah? Yeah, everything's good, yeah. Okay. You're moving around. I can't keep track of you anymore. Because we would skate down at the beach and see you down there and stuff like that. Well, we've kind of known each other for a long time now, but... Uh, Wait, you were in Santa Monica, Costa Mesa, Glendale. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what's going on? Can you can't are you on the run? You can't uh, sit down, what's dude. I'm trying to. It's like I'm trying to figure out what is the best place to live. Okay. I'm like taste testing different mm -hmm. areas, you know. Because okay. I don't. I'm gonna settle on somewhere in LA, right. maybe. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just just taste testing. You okay. Know? I miss okay. our sessions at I, the at the curbs. So fun. I know. So fun. Sick. Wait, where do you live now? I'm in Glendale now. Glendale. Yeah. Mm. What's your favorite place so far? Um, that you've lived yeah, in this process. Damn, yeah, this is tough. But between Glendale and Mar Marina del Rey, okay. for sure. Yeah, uh, it's tied. Nice. Oh, yeah, the West Side's nice. Anywhere you're near a big body of water, I think it's like mellow. You uh, know? I miss yes. that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that, Super nice. That breeze. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, man, thanks for coming. This is going to be great. Yeah. We got a lot of questions. Um, we were talking before the show. Um, you know, kind of like YouTube stuff versus mm -hmm. like skater it's always kind of a you know like a not a debate but there, there's there's a line right? so we're getting into it <laughs> I mean, jump, right, jump right into it well yeah, yeah. i mean let's because I, I i think it's interesting because like i don't really you do a lot of youtube stuff right but yeah. i don't really consider you like a youtuber you are you said you do consider yourself a youtuber right yeah yeah i love it yeah, yeah. wait I why feel, don't you consider him a youtuber well i don't i mean maybe it's just like the I don't know. And like I said, I'm not, I don't try to offend. And it's like the caliber of your skateboarding. Like when I watch a video of yours, like maybe some older videos or whatever, like you're just, bro, like your skateboarding ability is beyond. It's like, I, we're like, thank you. And this is like weird because I was like telling you before the show, I'm like, well, you listen, you got sponsored <laughs> by Element, right? Who were you sponsored by for before? Um, honestly, I was kind of like just, a board slot, just getting bored some random, like, okay. yeah, I was getting bored some, like, toy machine at one point, oh. uh, primitive, all cliche for a while. Cl I remember oh, the cliche. I missed that. That's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, element. Yeah. Element, yeah. <clears throat> but um, it's interesting because, like, because you skated for Element, right? I don't know. It's kind of like a situation with a girl where you're like, you don't know if you're like, you're talking. <laughs> you haven't it's put like, a label on it. kind of like a friends with benefits situation. Okay, okay. I don't know. Yeah. But why? Like heavy, what, heavy flow. But, like, what's, what's, like, why? <laughs> why haven't you put a? Why hasn't uh, there been a put put a label on it or anything? Um, I mean, I think at that time I was down to like be whatever, like get paid or do anything. I was uh, down at that time, I think. Okay. Um, but at that time I was doing YouTube also, and I think I was financially supporting myself. Yeah. So it's it was just nice to be able to skate for fun, like completely for fun at that point. No pressure from sponsors and stuff. Mm -hmm. I Wait, think I, so at that time I still would have done it though, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. So oh. you initially started skating, but like you weren't on YouTube yet when you first started skating? Yeah, I've been skating for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, before, yeah, before YouTube, I was just... A skater and yeah, student, yeah. student. Yeah, student. so let's go yeah. back. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. go that's what I'm saying. Let's, let's go, go back, back to the college. beginning. Yeah. Well, yeah. listen, yeah. I'm on a roll here, dude. I'm trying to get this <laughs> I, I, going. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we can hear what, like, when you started skating. Like, when did you start right. skating? Yeah, so I started skating when I was like five, real young. Then I got into video games for a while. Mm. And I picked it back up because of, kind of because of video games, because I would like set my game to autoplay and then I would go practice tricks in my backyard and watch youtube videos like trick tip tutorials mm. and stuff you're basically cheating at video games yes yeah. they know exactly okay. <laughs> you can do auto play yeah it was in a yeah what what game i don't know super idea. mario brothers I don't what? Know. What, what, <laughs> yeah like what, what? asteroids what it's called runescape runescape so yeah. for any game i've heard of that okay i have no idea dude i'm just <laughs> I, I didn't know that was a thing so skating took a front seat to cheating on video games. <laughs> decided to go with skating. Yeah, I would yeah. watch the you know like 
Stefan Janowski's trick tip for tray flips and just a lot, a lot of YouTube videos, just kids posting stuff, skating and a lot of the stuff that were like from video parts that people posted on YouTube. I okay. watched that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I went off to college and I guess that's when I like stopped pursuing skating, I mm. guess, because I was starting to take school seriously. Um, Where'd you go to school at? Uh, Cal State Northridge. Oh, sick. Yeah. Not that I was not skating hard. I just stopped like pursuing it as like a profession, I guess. So you were like, you made sponsor me tapes and were you trying to get sponsored? Uh, I don't think I ever made a sponsor me tape at that age, but I was like practicing. Okay. Like, like, hey, I wanted to be like a pro skater, I guess, as a kid, you know? Sure. Um, And you grew up in Los Angeles? Yeah. What what, what part of LA? Uh, Echo Park. Echo Park, Mm. sick. Yeah. So you went to school, like high school? In Echo Park as well. Uh, in downtown, downtown, downtown LA, yeah. Hmm. Damn, what a, that's I've never I haven't really met too many people that went to school, like downtown for some reason. Yeah, mm-hmm. like skaters in the yeah. Area, around here. Huh. Yeah, amazing. So did the college thing? Uh, graduated from college? Yeah. Wow. Congrats. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what what degree? Uh, bachelor's in science and kinesiology. Kinesiology. Yeah. I didn't do anything with my degree, but okay. I I got it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Congrats on that shit. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And then so yeah, so get their degrees, bro. Yeah, yeah. a lot of them don't go. Let alone their high school degrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So about halfway through college, that's when I started YouTube, okay. and I was always like a fan of YouTube. Like I watched YouTubers, right? Um, and I wanted to do channels with my friends. Always, I was like trying to like start like skit channels and just do like dumb stuff outside of skating and my friends would give up and i was like okay i'm, I'm tired of this so i saved up i spent like my life savings on a camera and a tripod okay and i started doing skate videos setting up the tripod uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, i would take take like trick suggestions mm. and then i'll try, try to learn the trick and then at that time were you like talking to the camera or that's a great question pretty much <laughs> so i remember specifically when i decided to like do a partially personality video and i was like i don't know how people are going to take this right um i think it was like I mixed the skating with like a, a vlog or day in the life maybe or something or an unboxing. Okay. And I remember it, it was taken well. I was like, oh shit, mm. that's crazy. Because that first one. Yeah, yeah, it was scary. How is this going to test yeah. the water? Right, right, right. And was there someone before that you watched do one? You were like, oh, I want to do something like that. Yeah, I had watched uh, like YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah, tons of YouTubers. Like who was some of your... Uh, well, Casey Neistat I, was like the guy. I think he was even a bit after... But yeah, I, I mean, I liked mm-hmm. a lot of his videos right, too. Right, yeah, right. Um, there was this one YouTuber named Kev Jumba who I used to watch a lot. He was really funny, oh, charismatic. Yeah. Um, but he quit and became like a monk or something. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was so there you, any like skaters on YouTube doing that type of style stuff yet? At uh, that point? I think it was just Andy Schrock, Brell, mm-hmm. Nigel, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Right. They're Nigel like the Josh sure. Katz, the founding fathers of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're like the OGs, huh? They're. I mean, we're talking. I mean, you started your channel like twelve years ago. Uh, no, no. Like, uh, well, I started the channel in like two thousand nine. Mm-hmm. It was like, I just my first video was shaking, at the time President Barack Obama's hand, um, but I didn't start making <laughs> escape videos till like two thousand thirteen or okay, fourteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So when you made your first video and you, by the way, when you got out of college, were you trying to figure out what you were going to do? Yes. Because that's a kind of a defining moment, right? It's yes. Like, I'm out of college. <clears throat> am I going to pursue a career in kinesiology or skate? There's this YouTube thing now. Yeah. So there was a presentation that I had to give about what we were going to pursue, like whether you're going to try to go to grad school or whatever, you know, pursue um you know, physical therapy or occupational therapy and this is my final year and I was at a pitchfork of like I was applying I was in the process of applying to grad schools I was like getting recommendations for teachers and stuff mm. and I decided and at this point I was about two like a year and a half or two years into YouTube just like was maybe I could survive off of it like you know maybe <laughs> okay. like 800 bucks 500 bucks a month or something you know i don't know i mean back then you yeah know, yeah you're no. with roommates whatever yeah eating at mcdonald's and uh i decided that i would do i went with youtube basically okay. i was like right. i'm gonna take the risk because i can come back to school so you got yeah. up in presentation and says i'm gonna i'm going to youtube every day i did not say that. <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> i did not say that uh no i'm gonna I, take all my talents <laughs> and go to YouTube. <laughs> no i just said like uh, an opportunity came about, like a good financial opportunity, and so I've decided not to 
apply to grad school basically i was this very big about class? it and everyone was like quiet and like confused and i just didn't <laughs> explain myself it's like okay you're like bye yeah. like i'm not gonna explain it to you i'm just gonna keep it vague and keep it moving i'm right. not doing youtube <laughs> yeah 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 exactly <laughs> well, especially at that time yeah <laughs> well that, that's the thing is there the youtube i mean grew, what, what year did youtube start do we does anybody know here i'd say 2005 2005 2000, maybe 2005 2006 okay okay very yeah, yeah. but when i started there weren't many uh, I, I remember there were like f filmers that like had youtube channels mm. and that that filmed like a lot of other skaters but i don't remember like i remember thinking like the competition is so like there's no like skater like skater who's putting out like like you know his own stuff like, or spo or sponsored skater or whatever mm. um i remember thinking oh shit like this is not really any competition i like this you know like this is an opportunity yeah and there wasn't really sure um sure. so I, I mean, timing really was yeah. lucky on that end. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing with skating. And we'll get into this later because I, skating is such a small niche. And mm. I think you can only, there, there's kind of ceilings you could reach, you know, for skateboarding and YouTube and stuff like that. And how do you break out to, because mm -hmm. this is kind of maybe a thought that you've had YouTubing. Like, how do I, how do I get out of the how skateboarding bubble? bubble? and reach a wider audience you know well <clears throat> i mean i've just always had other interests outside of skating mm -hmm. like i always enjoyed doing the skits and i i enjoy like filming you know the lifestyle stuff and documenting like fun times with my friends you know so right, that's like right. a whole another aspect so it's like two different things i enjoy doing right. and you know i don't know making short films or whatever sure sure what do you, you know? get more love from obviously i would like to say the skating but do you get more love from the like i saw a zombie thing that you did like and it was a bunch you know mm -hmm. it was running around fucking you know so. that was like part it's almost parkour it looked like yeah that was yeah. fucking gnarly dude yeah, it was uh, thank you <laughs> 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 thanks yeah no that was fun to film i had all my friends dressed up as zombies yeah at the, at the time it was like more like that was a more appropriate thing for that time i don't know like right. I probably wouldn't do that now, but it was funny at that time. Right, right. Yeah. Now, but how long ago? I, I mean, I didn't get how long ago, but how long ago was that? That was around, I could be completely wrong, but I'm going to guess five or six years. Okay. Yeah, that's my most viewed video. That's amazing. So yeah. that's probably why I saw it, because it was, I just went to the one, but I, it, obviously the zombie thing kind of captivated me because I'm a, friend, a fan of like fucking scary movies and shit. So I was just like, let me see what this is about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me see what this is about. But, like, when you think about these skits, are you just, thinking in your head are you working with friends on these how does that how do these come about uh no yeah both both yeah, yeah brainstorm with friends um just always like i have like a notepad that i keep around or my notes you know and then sometimes we just do like let's go get breakfast and do a brainstorm or mm. something yeah mm. I, I read somewhere we have our little notes that we have on things and like that you had a, a plan for your youtube going into it yeah how, yeah. how did you start with with no idea of really what to plan for how did you plan it um <clears throat> so like this is like when most people ask this question they're like yeah i kind of just like stumbled upon youtube and like it kind of did well and i just went with it like no right. i wanted to fucking do this shit yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 like yeah, i yeah. wanted like um because i i enjoyed watching youtube and i like watched a lot of people come up on youtube when i was in like high school and mm -hmm. i was like I, I think i get it like i think i know how this works and um so i like i was in class like with like my little notepad taking notes in class in my science classes like my biomechanics class or whatever <laughs> wow. and i was like brainstorming like all right this will be a cool like outro or like this would be a cool series you know mm. like trick challenge or whatever and like unbox i don't know skits at that time sure sure so yeah i came into it like with the strong with plan, the plan. Right? yeah oh, so what did you have a plan for like i'm gonna put out a video every week on a certain day certain time or i've never done a schedule well until kind of recently which i mean i try to do a schedule i've never been good at no i haven't done the schedule thing but i, I yeah i did post like once a week around around okay that. Yeah. i saw on your social media you're like hey i'm posting a video at eight o'clock tonight fucking yeah. check it out yeah that's kind of been the way that you've been doing it or do you just randomly throw them up um no I, I i'll post it and then i'll and then i'll announce that i've posted a new video on the story uh, okay. or whatever yeah yeah but i've never it's just to do a schedule like every wednesday or something i feel like it just fucks my creativity up like right. the pressure yeah. and like yeah yeah you know for mm, sure right. which is bad for business but i mean <laughs> it keeps you going in the long run i feel no but as long as you're consistent on how you do it i mean people are still still gonna fuck with it, it seems like yeah because yeah. i i think if you 
if you put yourself on a schedule that you don't like, like you get, yeah, you don't enjoy it. I mean, it, if I'm t- trying to play a long-term game, like I still enjoy doing this shit a lot. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and I think that's because of not being on like a strict business regimen schedule. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's tough because YouTube, when you start being successful at YouTube, you're like, okay, they, you, now you're trying to yeah. think of different things because like you just said, it's a business. Yeah. This is your livelihood. Yeah. This yeah. is how you pay your rent, buy groceries, mm-hmm. save up for a home, you know, whatever. So automatically, I I don't care if people say, nah, I just, fr-. it's like, dude, you, you think about that shit. Totally. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So. Well, I, I remember like vividly when I made my first 28 cents, mm. you know? <laughs> it's a lot of money. Call, <laughs> no, yeah, I was like, <laughs> dude, I was like, oh my God, like I made money from nothing, you know? Right. As a, yeah, as, you know. Well, it feels like nothing because you're having so much fun. Yeah. Right, right. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But work. it is work, but you were just having a great time. <clears throat> yeah. So your creativity yeah. to making mm. money. Because it yeah. took like months to get to that 28 cents, I remember. Right. I was like, damn, it's just, it's been like a month or two and it's not like nothing you know and that's i think that's a grind with youtube mm-hmm. it's like it's 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 its own little universe every platform is its own universe like there's people that live on youtube you mm-hmm. know and then like this to try to get people from instagram over to youtube or twitch over to like it's not like it's a small percentage that you're trying to bring over you know mm-hmm. i do sense that a lot of youtubers have a good instagram following that's the way i've, I've it's seen usually it. better on youtube well i've they still get like a good, they still, I've, I've, they still come on over. Like I'll, I'll look at him like, oh, that person's got a lot of followers on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Still. Not as much right, as right. the YouTube. You for know sure, what I'm saying? For but sure. They can still transfer it over a little bit. Yeah. But so when you were getting uh, the college degree, you wanted to go to the YouTube thing and everything. Were you still actively pursuing trying to skate or get sponsored? Um, I think I had given up like in college. Really? But. I think in the back of my head, I still wanted it, you know, that little childhood dream. Sure. But I was like, no, you'll just, you know, make money another way and then just skate for fun as long, you know, as long as you can. Mm -hmm. But I think, I mean, I still skated harder than ever, though, to try to get, like, good. Right. You know? So I was, like, still actively pursuing it. And I think there was a little voice in my head. Like, it'd be cool if you... Yeah. But listen, I mean, you still did. I mean, you (laughs) skate for, like, Adidas and, like, you know, some big companies. You know what I mean? But that was my question kind of going into all this is, like, maybe a better question is, like, did you feel, like, a stigma about YouTube? Or, like, you have to be, like, either one or the other? Uh, not one or the other. I would never, because I, I love both. Equal. Yeah. I love, I really do love, right. obviously skating is my lifelong passion. And mm-hmm. I obviously, I love YouTube too. Like sure, just, sure. You know, just the creativity aspect of One or the other the wasn't the best analogy. I think it's more, because like <clears throat> there is that line, right? It's yeah. like, it, it exists. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like YouTube skater, core skater. We hear about all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean, yeah. When, when you guys asked me to come on the podcast or on the on the show yeah, three yeah. years ago. I was hesitant because right. I was scared. Yeah. At that time, I feel like I was a little bit more cynical. Like, oh, I just feel like all the skaters just, like hate me or whatever. So I just like was just scared to get roasted in your comments or whatever, I guess. Right, right, And right. so I'm, yeah, now, I mean, now I just, I don't know. I feel like I've met people now and people are genuinely, genuinely nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Sure. Um, I think we're at a different moment like in time in skateboarding like, like everything is accepted to a degree. You know yeah. I mean? Obviously you're going to have your fucking dicks you yeah. know, no matter sure. what they have these gnarly ass opinions but at the same time I think it's so much more open and subjective <coughs> to everybody at this at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but yeah, but I mean there was definitely I felt a stigma and um, it made me like it made me like not want to post uh, skate videos on YouTube, actually. Really? Oh, whoa. Yeah. yeah so I kind of stopped. <clears throat> Why? Um, because I felt like, I guess I felt embarrassed, which is bad, because it made me stop doing something I loved yeah. at that time. Wait, you felt embarrassed posting skate videos on YouTube? Yeah. Because you were going to be known as like a YouTube skater? Yes, unfortunately. Got you. I felt like I look back at like high school, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm in high school. I wanted to hang out with the cool kids, and it's like I fell for the same mistake again. <laughs> I didn't oh. learn, it's like I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, but I did a lot of content that I enjoy on YouTube, like just storytelling sure. or whatever. And I, I feel like skating works better for me personally on Instagram mm-hmm. because it's like a shorter. I don't know to like it felt it also felt like 
posting t- a 10 minute like video is like a lot of skating and I felt like I was churning out just like crap mm. and it didn't feel good. Like, oh, what am I gonna do today? I'm have, just gonna vlog and then I'm gonna have some skate tricks in it. Yeah, it was like I, a, I gotta uh, do, I gotta do. It was like do, a template. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. And like, I love my skating so, like not my skating, I love skating so much. Yeah. Like it's important to me, you know, to as, as a creative in skating or whatever. And I wanna do tricks on like, proud of i guess for and sure so it works for sure that format works better on instagram for me mm. right. um okay. but i i'd still want to work on projects on youtube just not in that format i guess or I mean, some youtube's crazy. an interesting <laughs> yeah you, it's an interesting place right yeah. because if you're doing something that's that's getting views you don't want to change it right or maybe you do you want to make little tweaks to it but like s- completely shifting over to something else it's like a big move yeah, but it wasn't like a complete like it's just stop. Your fan base, I guess, but yeah, it wasn't like a complete shift. I mean, I always did both, and mm-hmm. I just I guess I started doing more. Well, people what? already knew you as that. They knew you as a skateboarder that did skits. Yeah. So that they people, it wasn't like you're throwing skateboarding out there and people are like, what the hell? He's skating? What the hell? I didn't even know he's like they've, <laughs> right. they've known yeah, yeah, that yeah, he yeah, skated yeah. for a long yeah, time. Yeah, his fan, his fan yeah. base. Yeah, I feel like that's <laughs> kind of how you got your. Did you? Get, you I, mean, I don't know. I feel like you're when I first when I first heard of you, I didn't even know who you were. The bout the barracks when I judged your game versus Chris Cole. Oh, you judged that. I judged that. Oh game. shit, you and, did. And I was like, oh I don't know. I'm like, this kid that I don't know, the posse is insane here for him. Like and he this might have changed his life just beating Chris Cole. He just yeah. I felt like that was a huge <laughs> moment for you right there. Yeah. I actually did invite all those people. Just uh, those, <laughs> <laughs> I invited my like group of like like seven eight oh, friends right, right, but right. one of my friends which i'm actually glad he did invited like all of, like the skate park our local skate park basically wow. yeah it was it was a lot of people there yeah that was awesome <laughs> and i was like oh my god if i blow it in front of all these people <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> but that was one of the best about the barracks games i've ever seen did you guys watch that game yeah it was I, insane I and you thanks what was <clears throat> ass? No, it was a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. You guys, I mean, it came down to the last letter. You got him on what? A switch? Was it switch double varial heel or switch something? Switch double varial yeah. heel. That's a, that's a, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that in that game of skate or in but person. He had, bro, he <laughs> had you, bro. He, you were like down to T. No, I know. And you were like, oh, okay, I know. So okay. I, what I think would happen was I was about to lose on, it was a nollie backside flip. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, all right, well, I lost. Like, I give up, you know. On the nolly backs I flip. And then I'd given up and then I landed it and I was like, oh shit, all right. And then it was my turn on offense and I was losing. I was about, I had T, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I, I like gotta do something on my way out. Right. This is my last shot ever. I gotta do like one <laughs> trick that's like kind of cool. I gotta lose with style. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know? yeah, for sure. I'm not sure. going out like a fucking <laughs> yeah. loser. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> so I started doing like just a bunch of wacky tricks or like, you know, the harder tricks. And I think because I'd given up that like made the nerves go away. Cause I was like, I'm already losing. I'm just going to lose it with style. On my sure. Way. Sure. And I think that like losing that hope, like kind of yeah. freed you. It worked yeah. Yeah. It worked oh. your advantage, no yeah. You fucking won, dude. <clears throat> did that, did that, do you, did you feel something happen when, when, when you won? Did you feel like this attention come to you? Like, wow, this is, this dude, is yeah. big. Did you, yeah, it was unimaginable at that like at that time. It was insane. Yeah, blacked out for sure. <laughs> but, but that was your first game ever, right? Yeah, yeah. In Battle of the Barracks, yeah. The f- first time most people have heard of you in like the skate world, and then you'd beat Chris Cole. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a pretty in. big move right there. <laughs> that's like I felt that was my first like sight of you, and I felt like that changed. And then from there, and I was like, oh, this guy's got a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And that's when I started to see you more on YouTube. And I was mm-hmm. like, wow, this guy's really good skateboarder. Started popping totally. up in the algorithm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's an interesting dynamic, too, because obviously being a lifelong fan of Chris Cole and watching all his parts and being there and like, I have to play you. This is weird. It's like yeah. a lose lose. If I beat you, it's a lose because you're one of my favorite skaters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. lose, it's a lose. It's a lot. Yeah. Were you sponsored when you were playing him? I might have had one. Like clothing sponsor okay. at the time of Quiet Life was maybe Quiet Life. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was right. I might have been wearing a hat or something from them. Andy yeah. Mueller. Oh um, man. Pros versus Joes. Mm-hmm. That was a battle of the barracks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually brought the the first Look invitation. At that. Here we oh, go. Yeah, a little ticket. Huh? Yeah. Joe. What does it say? Number one. Yeah. You're number one. What? How? How long did you last in that series? 
Where did uh, you go? I got out in the second round. Yeah. You who? Did, yeah, who'd you lose to? Uh, Luan. Oh, Luan God. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Luan's a whole different exactly. trip. I mean, listen, Chris Cole's yeah, one of the I, best. I mean, 1, of yeah. the best. Yeah. No, Chris Cole, I mean, Luan has something that like is intimidating. Yeah. Dude, for sure. Yeah, like, he goes not, fast, <laughs> he pops his shit high, yeah. and he stomps his tricks. No, and yeah. you're like, wait a minute, I'm going to creep yeah. and do a kickflip. And you're going <laughs> mock. You're dropping in from the roof dude it's like it's like boxing you know and it works yeah yeah Yeah, when you land your trick he's already going 100 miles an hour doing his next and then i do my trick and i feel like a little bitch yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) you're like here's my little heel flip yeah Yeah. Yeah. and he's like i'm gonna do my heel flip over you you're like okay so but let's go back to you know we you know the controversy well, no, it's not. We got to sprinkle it in here and out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it right. If you didn't do YouTube, you would have been on a premier brand like a primitive or a cliche or one of these. You know what I mean? Like, I you don't, so. you, would ne- you don't you, know that. Well, definitely. I, I think your skateboarding is amazing, but exactly. you could never tell where he would go. I think that yeah. he, you would have made a name for yourself. Maybe like in, shop flow, maybe or. <laughs> Could have gone on Rip City. <laughs> Rip City. Um, no, but if the, you know, draw a line and you go this way, I think you could have done, definitely, you know, been. You could have gotten your way into a company and made your 100%, way. hundred percent. hundred percent. I don't know, man. Honestly, no. I don't no. think so. I don't think so. No. I think so. I, it's competitive, man. People are fucking good. You're yeah, good. But, <laughs> exactly. but I like your mentality based on you taking that risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you. I mean, look, you could have just been like, I'm going to just try to skate, whatever the case, and see what happens. But you did what you wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? And that <clears> takes <throat> a lot of fucking courage. That's some real shit. Because skateboarding <clears throat> is relentless on how they feel about you. You know what I mean? So well, at that time, of, especially. You, crea- you created your own little fucking thing, and it worked. You know what I'm saying? So it's... Yeah, at know. that time, it was different. Now it's like... For I'm, sure. Uh, yeah. Better. You did. I think you did. I mean, obviously, I think you did the right move. Well, because we like, talk because <laughs> we talk about it nowadays. It's like, man, there's so many avenues. I agree. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's so many avenues now. Yeah. Right. You can I, go ahead. I kind of hate for some reason the idea of like when people. I don't know, like when I talk about it with people as if like I. I guess I did. Like it. It helped a lot with skating, but I hate the idea of like. I'd like to think of it as like I did because they were two separate passions and I hate to think of them as like a combined passion like YouTube skate YouTube uh, skating yeah. Okay, yeah. which it was it was I yeah. can't deny that but um, but they were two different passions because I did love YouTube and I did love skating mm-hmm. and I just happened to be a YouTuber that happened to skate, skate. and be you know sure. and, and be okay at it right yeah. right 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 <clears throat> but again like nobody was doing that and you saw a lane to do it I mean you, you said it so it's like yeah. you wanted to yeah. seize the moment which is True, rad yeah. you know what I'm saying like Again. Well, skateboarders were back then, especially they weren't. You never put your face in front of the camera. You never talked. You only skated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like no one was doing like a vlog or no. anything back then. If not you, consistently. N- like, not at all. Not, I got yeah. I got shit for having a YouTube channel. Yeah. Like <laughs> like like in 2010, and I wasn't even videoing myself. Right. From like you know what I mean for like my peers. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. all right, yeah, why, but why would they talk shit? Well, like, gotta... because they're just like, hey, we it was want... frowned upon. It no, was, yeah, I get yeah. it. It's self like self promotion. It's like kooky. Even yeah. when Instagram yeah. came yeah, out, but we're all was, doing it now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, if someone, I always like, if someone has a channel, if Gino Iannucci has a YouTube channel, I personally don't care about what his flowers are doing in his backyard. I want to see him skate, right? And that's the way I could find it. But even though he doesn't have one, how are his flowers? I don't know. I haven't. I don't oh. care. <laughs> how are his bot- botany botany yeah, skills? Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's like kind of the thing. Is like. That's why I feel like, I don't know. I, I just wanted to watch my fi- Like, we were af- so afraid to put ourselves mm. in front of the camera. But that's what, what fans want to do. Yeah. They want to see you. Fans I mean, want to see you do your it's shit. A, and then the day in life started coming around. Mm. And like then companies started having YouTube channels. And then it was, <gasps> it was okay for the company to have the YouTube channel. Because then you're just in their content or whatever. But yeah. but it was frowned upon for a while to kind of have this YouTube I channel, guess I was just like at the know? time, I just like maybe a little too naive. And just <laughs> like no, I just. No, but I, listen. Because I feel like before, like I mean, maybe there was a time where like no one was doing it. So it wasn't even. It wasn't even uncool because no one like it wasn't even it wasn't thing. Even right. thing. It became right. uncool. Right. But yeah, you were. We made it uncool. <laughs> yeah. no, no, you just it, created your own lane. You it was 
something that was just organic. It wasn't, I don't know. I trip on like, why was it uncool? You know, I like totally. I look at it nowadays and it's like, if we all had our YouTube channels back then mm -hmm. and we were building our audience, like mm -hmm. imagine oh, our YouTube. Shit would be next level right now, bro. Yeah. 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 Well, dude, imagine if we did this show 10 years ago. I don't oh, yeah. know. If, I don't well, know. If I don't know if this would have worked. Yeah, exactly. Ten years ago, but yeah. having our own individual YouTube channels. Well, I guess ten depends, years ago, it depends on what the content would be. Like you, you, you're obviously creative in multiple different ways. Where I probably couldn't do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like you're making notes and shit <clears> for, for for skits and stuff. Like where I would probably just be skating or just showing you day in the life type. Or shit. documenting. That's like whole, like just yeah. documenting. Right. You know. Yeah. Personality. Yeah. Right. I got into the YouTube universe when we started this show. And mm -hmm. I started really going like, okay, this is this, this is that. I started learning about YouTube and everything. Like, guests would come on our show and just for fun, we'd be like, hey, have you ever heard of Andy Schrock? And they'd be like, no, who's that? Mm -hmm. Like, it was so parallel universes. Mm -hmm. Like, skaters that came on our show did not know who Andy Schrock was. They didn't know what um, Braille or Revive, they, they didn't know anything about mm -hmm. that. Maybe some people would come in, they'd be like, oh yeah, I've heard of some YouTube or something like that. But as we started getting in this YouTube universe, it started becoming more and more clear and apparent to me that I'm like, wow, this is a huge, powerful tool, you know, that nobody's really utilizing, that everybody should utilize in their own way, you mm -hmm. know? And like coming into our nine club shit, we're like, I'm like, dude, this is fucking amazing. I can get, I could post something on Instagram that gets 50,000 views. I could post something on YouTube that gets 50,000 views and I can make like 200 bucks on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Times that by perpetuity, you could have that shit just making money for you for the rest of the, it, however long it lives. Mm. So there's so many different things. And now you've created a life for yourself just by doing YouTube. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that there's a, I think a lot of skaters, should utilize it for sure yeah, make money you, like, you, well, let's go do you think it's, do you real. think that you said it before you're like yeah it's kind of like uncharted territory no one's doing it like the youtube and skating and stuff were you kind of hyped when you started doing it? were you kind of hyped no one else was doing it you're like cool i'll be the only one doing this shit like um yeah no i guess i saw it as an opportunity like, yeah yeah I mean, like this is just gonna be easy not easy but like easy like easier without competition yeah yeah for sure for um sure. but it's just something i always wanted to do like in high school because i watched a lot of youtube mm -hmm. yeah. what like, about I actually I, I loved watching it and doing it and like the whole part of it you know editing what about skate videos growing up what what skate videos did you do like um so I, I did watch a lot of like skating on youtube i watched a few like I watched some like classic. I watched like some of the classic videos, but not like, not like a lot of them. Yeah. Um, and I watched a lot of European skaters, oddly for some reason, like um, Alex Mizorov, mm -hmm. Seva, oh, and yeah. uh, oh wow, I used to message him on Facebook actually. Seva. Yeah. Do you know Seva personally? He's a rad. Dude. I mean, you guys skate all the time, yeah. don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he, when I was in high school, I messaged him on Facebook, and he responded. Well, I messaged him on MySpace, and then wow. he was actually on Facebook, so I messaged him on Facebook. <laughs> okay, <also. laughs> okay. And he, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm coming to stay. For, I'm coming to America for the ES Game of Skate, the championships." Uh -huh. I was like, "Oh, cool. Yeah, you can stay at my." I like convinced my parents to like let him stay at my place, and he ended up staying at my place for like a month. Wow. And this is like my favorite skater at the time probably like the happiest moment of my life that's so tight that's yeah, so yeah super fan um how did you how did you you just found them through youtube that's yeah insane. yeah yeah i found them because actually okay it started with the alex miserable versus chris cole game of skate okay oh the s game of skate that was a huge inspirational video like just the es game of skates yeah, yeah. videos you know yeah um and then i found seva through one of those um, ES Game of Skates because Alex played Seva too. Mm. And then I found this other guy, Lem Villeman. Lem? Oh, yeah. That yeah. Super dope. Those, my, those are my, my heroes. Bro. I was obsessed. Wow. Obsessed. So, like, you found their games of skate, but then you started watching their video parts as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. And everything, all the day in the lives and everything. Mm. Wow. wow. I remember seeing, like, Alex's MySpace and seeing, like, all his, like, the suitcase he would like go on trips with or, like with all the sponsors like he had a playstation like psp and all the plan b hats and everything yeah and i wanted i wanted to be sponsored by plan b so bad <laughs> i was like i just wanted to copy with the way you dress and the sponsors yeah. and everything that's right yeah shout out lem villeman oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, know. I haven't heard that name from i know right been on tour with lem. huge yeah. i love hearing the story about how just came fans of these skaters because just everyone has their own way i grew up watching these guys in videos 
and I saw them in magazines. Mm -hmm. But I have no way of communicating with them in yeah. any way. But it's amazing you get to see these guys and then just message him on Facebook mm, yeah. and he comes kicks it with you at your house. Yeah. 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 I love amazing. that. Actually, I actually ran into you at the barracks around 10 or 12 years ago when I was in high school and I was pretty starstruck. Really? Yeah. You were doing switch flips over the flat bar. I remember that. <laughs> and you're probably filming for your, your, uh, the dog days. Oh, the recruit. Over. The recruit. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Was that that's... the first, was that the first, that was the first barracks, right? Yeah, first the barracks. old school barracks. Dude, oh, I love that barracks. Yeah. Did you go to the pizza parties back then? Uh, no, I no. wanted to though, but I, yeah, no, I didn't hit those. <laughs> that were Johnny Hernandez. It's like, yeah, man, every weekend I'm going to the pizza parties. Damn. Was that like, was that a big thing, like to try to get in the barracks back then? Fuck yeah, like, <laughs> it meant everything. Hell yeah. How did you get? How did you get in there for the first time? Seva. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then damn. I saw you, and I was like, oh shit, bros are here. <laughs> play it cool. <laughs> oh, play it cool. <laughs> it's always funny seeing someone step in for the first time because, like, I remember Seva coming in. He's skating the bout the barracks. You're like, who? It, it, it reminded me of of like, uh, I want to say Terminator, but uh, I don't even know. But he came in just like yeah. ready for business. And ready for <laughs> oh, business. Yeah. You're like, holy, he doing front side three sixty flips. You're like, all right, I'll do a. a, a I don't know. I don't know. I can't do anything like that. <laughs> totally. But that dude came in hot. So. The YouTube thing. <laughs> We're talking about this controversy. I'm fascinated. <clears throat> yeah, I'm fascinated with YouTube. I, you know, I started doing my a little thing. I'm glad I'm not me. Tim just had the camera, just followed me around. Whatever. They got good views. You know, whatever. 60, I was going to ask about that. Hundred thousand views. Yeah. Oh, you remember that one? Yeah. Those old things, right? I liked it. I was like, where'd it go? Okay, so that's just, it's one of those things, right? It's like, I get it. it's a lot of work too, right? YouTube's a lot of work. And then we started Nine Club and everything, so it kind of took over. But I'm just fascinated with the whole, you know, trying to come up on in YouTube and doing the whole thing because it's not easy. Mm -mm. It's, it's a grind, mm -hmm. you know, and to stick with it. Like you said, you got, what, 28 cents mm -hmm. the first day or the first check. Yeah. And then from there... Maybe you saw ten dollars, and then maybe more and more, and then the views. You know, it it, it it's a grind. May I, yeah. Do you have more like than a, any other platform? I believe you have to love it. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Have to. And you got to be it. in it. For sure. Yeah. Do you have like? Did it get so big now that you have like employees or yeah, a little team? Um, I mean, I, yeah, I kind of just work with my friends pretty yeah. much. I wouldn't say like employees, but yeah, just friends and mm. yeah. Are they on the payroll or are they just, uh, you get a little kickback? Um, there's, we have like a kind of a deal work, like for editing. Yeah. I pay. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Editing's important. Yeah. Now, that's probably one of the hardest things. Yeah. Filming them is fun, easy, cool. Yeah. It's, it's sitting in the, yeah. in the dungeon totally. editing. Yeah. Oh, you got the editor over My there? roommate right there. Oh, yeah. that's my oh he roommate. edits he, the videos? He edited for me. Yeah. Back in the, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. We, we did like hundreds of videos together. Really? Want we'll to yeah. give him a shout out real quick? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, he's the reason why I'm here right now. Jaime. Who's that? Jaime. Because he Jaime. sends me stuff all the time from the Nine Club. Okay. We're always joking. <laughs> oh, you showed me some funny shit the other day. This guy's making <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What's he making? I texted him the... Oh. I'll show you after. Yeah, I was like... He sh I didn't even know who this dude was. And he said, hey, check it out. And I was like, wait, I remember that. But wait, no, I don't. You're just... <laughs> Editing shit in. Oh, yeah. like, oh, okay. I know what you're talking about, you dirty dick. <laughs> it was but, pretty funny. Kind of like the Knowing Club? A little bit a little like bit. that. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I sent a screenshot of our text to Jaime. And when you're like, you want to be in the nightclub? He was like, do it in like full caps. <laughs> like, yes. Danny Duncan came into the picture. You, you were doing YouTube and then he was around the barracks yeah. trying to stretch people out and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And then yeah. how did... Uh, seeing his his success is incredible mm -hmm. but how did how did did you like not talk him into it but did you just like hey you should do something with youtube or how did that work uh so i found him on facebook because i was because i was a kinesiology major like exercise movement science stuff mm -hmm. and he was doing stretching and exercise like and with skaters so it was like a very niche thing we we're both like exercise science and skating type of thing and so i messaged him i was like hey we should do like some sort of video collab like exercise science skating something collab because that's what i was studying at the time mm -hmm. and we met up and hung out and we just fucked around and d d did a bunch of dumb shit but um that's amazing. and then i recognized you know his an amazing personality and i was like yeah you definitely got to be on youtube like this is 
<laughs> yeah. It's like made for you. Yeah. 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 Cause I just noticed we would hang out and he would literally talk to everyone. I was like, <laughs> that's so sick. I wish I could do that. Right. I was like, right. yeah. And he wanted to, like he had known about YouTube and wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I had, I had started YouTube just about that time. Okay. And then we started doing stuff together. Oh, Amazing. nice. <clears throat> Yeah, shout out Danny Duncan. Fuck He's yeah. a great dude. Um, yeah. Killing it. Yeah. Killing it. It's dude. crazy, yeah. Fuck. Traveling in tours and shit. Yeah. This guy's yeah. selling out like arenas? Yeah, I don't know. go on doing... tour with buses and like, shit. Like, what, what does he do on tours? I don't understand. Yeah, what does he, he do in front of a live audience? Yeah. Just like jump into the crowd and fucks around. I mean, Couch whatever, surfs. you know, the YouTube, yeah. whatever in the YouTube video, I think it just transfers over to Goes into IRL. That. Okay. Have you been to his, one of his shows? Uh, I did go to one of them. Yeah. What, I went to what one is of that them. like? Uh, a lot of energy. Okay. It's crazy. Sure. Yeah. But what does that mean? Like, it's just like, oh, like, yeah, he comes oh, out like, right, we're gonna yeah. Yeah. everyone's screaming. There's like little, like, stunts and stuff. Okay. Breaking the guitar, and there's like wrestling and stuff. <laughs> and like some Gallagher singing. or something like that. Yeah. That's it's amazing. just a random, it is just random. My boy yeah. Ratchet Man was on that tour, this last oh, yeah. one. And he's a, uh, you know, just, he goes along for the ride and he's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah it's the homie. Mm -hmm. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Such a good guy. Dude, yeah. He hooked me up with uh, Grizzly and Diamond back in the day. Oh, hell yeah. 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 Sick. Awesome. Damn. That's amazing to see his success. So Dude. much money. Crazy. Yeah. So much. Money. We bought you a Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Wait, he bought you a Tesla? Yeah. What? Yeah, he surprised he, me with it. Just showed up. Hey, dude. There you go. Yeah. yeah. What? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. No, mm -hmm. it wasn't a birthday. It wasn't anything special. Just like, hey, here you go. Um, so, well, the story was when we when we were trying to come up, he was like on the verge. He was like trying to grind for YouTube. And I remember him saying like, uh, if I just had like a place, like a place to stay or like a car to like sleep in, like when I can't have a place to stay, like that would be like, I just, that's all I need. And I can, like, I'm almost there, you know? Right. So, um, I took out some money from the bank and I bought him like, uh, I gave him money for like a used car. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And, uh, and then he, yeah, he, he used the car and then, and then, so when he got me the Tesla, he was like, Hey, you remember when you got me that car? He's like, well, I got you a Tesla. I was like, what the fuck? Wow. That's crazy. Dude. That's legendary shit. Like that. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, it was cool. But then also yeah. like not forgetting like how you, you know what I'm saying? Like where you, where you came from. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Man. Paying it forward. That's beautiful. Yeah. He's always texting me like, how are you doing and everything? Like sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. So sick. We've been trying to get, um, he, he, he's been, we've been, we DM back and forth. I was like, Hey, I'm in town. Okay. And I'm like, uh, we're not filming this week or something, you know, mm -hmm. to try to get him on the show and stuff. Yeah. Cause uh, he, I mean, he's, that's a rad story too. I mean, yeah. skateboarder mm -hmm. coming up, he was trying to do barrack stuff, yeah. stretching exercises yeah. and things. And then he just went off on, into YouTube and boom, <laughs> just like, just killing it. Yeah. I, I love that. Dude, you can he tell just... he had the energy for success. For sure. Dude, like he, he was... would hit me up on Facebook like, yo, dude, I want to come into the barracks. Let's hang out. Like, I'm just like, dude, this guy, this kid's going to do something for sure. Yeah. yeah super yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Hustler. How did, how did everything go once you battle the barracks? Because that's when you kind of were like popping your YouTube channel off. Yeah. Yeah. You must have saw a big Spike. influx <laughs> of people coming in yeah to your uni universe back then yeah it, that's when i just started youtube and i had some i had like maybe a thousand or two thousand subscribers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then that game hit and i i'd row that wave yeah wow. i could imagine it's good timing honestly. right 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 it's good timing were you like thinking like okay well i just got this video uh i'm gonna put this video out i just won this and like because they go to like a youtube channel that maybe hasn't posted in a couple of weeks maybe they wouldn't you know what i mean like you wanted to hit that um Timing. yeah i did but i was also like i was i was also in the process of getting my degree and i had a mm. job too and i remember having to skip like an important i think it was like a presentation for one of my classes for that game mm. oh wow so i was like i told my group hey, i'm sorry guys i can't i can't i can't be there for the presentation once in a lifetime dude yeah <laughs> i gotta i gotta go be chris cole that's what i gotta go do yeah. yeah it was all worth it yeah but i was trying yeah like i remember i would go i would be at CSUN and then on the weekends I would like drive back to LA to like work on uh, YouTube and skating because okay. I was filming a part too I was filming a part had a job and was a student and then on the weekends I would like try to film like whatever Jeez. we could and then and then skate practice like try to get better too it's a I guess. lot of yeah it's a lot of stuff going on it's busy shit damn was there a certain video on YouTube that hit hard that 
kind of change things for you at all? Um, there were a few. Um, What's a big one or one that you thought you're like, this is this is killing it. This is okay, viral this is right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember like the first viral video. I remember. I mean, the trick challenges were doing good. Yeah. Like I would take the trick suggestions and I would just. I just stole that from one of my favorite YouTubers. He, cause he did like a challenge, like you just take challenge. He did like a challenge thing where you take the comments and do the challenge. I was like, mm -hmm. well, I just do that with skate tricks. Right. Right. <laughs> Easy enough. Yeah, yeah. I just copied it. <laughs> yeah. That's all um, good. but I did one for the 360 forward flip and I just called it a dragon flip cause I wasn't really into dragon Ball Z at the time. Okay. <laughs> and that, that one did really well. That was, huh. that Damn. was really what are we good. talking at the time? How many views? I think, like 500,000 to a million -ish, Damn. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Mm, depending on your CPM at the time. I think CPM was shit at that okay, time. Okay. Because yeah. that could be a million views now. I mean, it could be anywhere from like 5,000, $7,000. Yeah. At that know. time, it was only like, the sh videos were shorter too. Mm. So it was like, you only made like a dollar or two per Okay. And you couldn't put thousand. commercials in maybe back then too. No. Yeah. You couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Damn. A lot of money. You know what CPM stands for? Clicks per thousand. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think it is. I don't know what the M is, but it's clicks per thousand. I think the M is like a symbol for thousand, actually. Maybe but it's cost. Oh, maybe cost per thousand. Cost, cost per thousand. No. Clicks per. Oh, cost per thousand. Cost per thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so it's like two. Clicks. <laughs> Same shit. <thing. laughs> um, I just his face when he told him that he's like, mm. what? <laughs> Clicks cost per thousand. But I've heard clicks too. It might yeah, be both. clicks cost. It's the same shit. But CPM, and that's the thing with YouTube that's interesting, is you could have a channel about skateboarding. I could have a channel about skateboarding. We could put out damn near the same kind of videos, but your CPM could be way different than my CPM. So yeah. judging somebody's like worth on YouTube is kind of damn near impossible sometimes. You know, you hear about like, oh, this person's worth, they make this much on YouTube. Yeah. And it's like... Some people are more brand deal friendly, and there you go. Some people are yeah. more edgy, whatever. Do you try to look for some brand deals and stuff, or do you just kind of whatever comes your way? Um, I have a guy who just mm. sends, yeah, pretty much filters out the shitty ones and then sends me. Okay. Yeah. And then what do you try to just um, put them in your video <clears throat> nonchalantly, like product placement, or is it actually like, hey, this video is. A lot of YouTubers now, hey, this episode's brought to us by... I've never had one of those. Never I've one? wanted one. Really? Yeah. Okay. I never had the, hey, this video's... Because that's Raycon easy. Raycon earbuds, you know? Because that's easy. Yeah. Like, hey, this video's, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But no, I've never had one of those. No. Usually they just ding, ding, integrate ding. it somehow. Integrate it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. When, like, Adidas came around or some of these things, was it that type of thing like hey we'll give you shoes was there any expectation from them of like hey just put them in your videos or did they just kind of like hey you're a dope skater we want to give you shoes um it started out just i mean yeah just there was never really any much expectation mm. like yeah just shoes okay um uh there was payment at some at one point for a few oh. years like two years or three years okay. or something like oh, that nice. um which, yeah, came about in a funny way, actually. What's that convention in Long Beach? The skate? Or is it skate? It's our agenda. It was agenda. 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 Yeah. So I was actually snooper, snooping around in Agenda. I, like, snuck in somehow. I didn't know how. <laughs> and I didn't know how these things work. I was just a dumb little kid, you know? Okay. And Not a little kid, but it's probably, like, 23 at the time or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I was snooping around the back of the Adidas, like, showroom or the show product. Mm -hmm. And some lady came up to me and was like, hey, you're not supposed to being here like what are you like do you have an account with us i was like oh no i'm sorry i've never been here before and so she was kicking me out um and as she was escorting me out kicking me out there was some guy who was like hey what is your what does your badge say like what do you do and i just told him about like youtube and skate like i'm do youtube videos and a skate and he started asking me all these questions about youtube and okay. social media and stuff and we ended up talking for about an hour it's a really cool guy and it turns out he was like the vice president of action sports for Adidas or something. What? He was like, yeah, give me, let me, uh, give me your email and let's keep in contact. Wow. Um, so then uh, I sent him some videos and stuff and then they started sending me shoes. Wow. Yeah. yeah remember pretty, his name? From getting kicked out. I know. <laughs> yeah. <Wow>. Seriously. <laughs> Dude. Um, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think companies are interested in that kind of thing. 
you know, like a lot of interesting. Yeah, but to give him the time of day and sit there and like. I know. Yeah, as he's getting kicked out. Like, yeah. hey, no, stop. What, what, what's Hold going on, on here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty crazy. Pretty wow. crazy. You don't remember his name by chance? Uh, I do. Fuck. Uh, it's, I have him on freaking Instagram. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's I'll okay. remember. Yeah, off the top of my head. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that led into getting shoes getting paid from adidas i mean yeah. that's pretty fucking good yeah it was sick wait yeah. so how did how long did it take to start getting paid was it like you, you put them in the videos for a while and they're like oh shit i we think should. it was like i don't remember it was pretty soon yeah. within a year though but do you go up to them and be like hey i'm like getting you guys views like hey, i'm wearing your shit no i had uh they came to me at some point oh um that's yeah they nice. came to me at some point i was like we want to work out a contract or something and then I found an agent through someone I met there, and then they worked. That's like the first time I found an agency. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know how, didn't know how any of that agenda. Shit. Yeah, I didn't know how any of that shit worked. And I just kind of just fell in a place. I just found someone who hooked me up with an agent. Okay. In that same booth, actually, because they were just doing freelance for Adidas. It's complicated. Okay. But, okay. Okay. But then, yeah. And that wasn't coming from the skate department. It was coming from a different. I guess so. Yeah, he's coming yeah, from action, the, cop, the action, cop department. Action sports. Action sports. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, so it I don't know. Been parkour. <laughs> <laughs> parkour. <laughs> well, it's like, yeah, it wasn't like we're gonna take a little budget over here, give it to him. <laughs> well, it's interesting, right? Like, uh, you know, Paul Shire and Pete Eldridge are like. Mm -hmm. team Oh managers. yeah, he was sending me shoes at some. Point. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Team yeah. Thanks, so I'm wondering Paul. if like they yeah. transfer you over, like, oh yeah, hit up these guys for shoes or whatever. Wait, yeah, yeah. So that's happened like three times. But that's awesome. Yeah, man. I and mean, I, at some point I got in trouble. I think kind of a little bit. What? Why? why because happened? I was excited. Like this is the first time getting paid by any skate company. Okay. <laughs> and so I told like some of my best friends like how much I was making, and uh, I think the word got out a little bit, and it came back to me, and I was like, oh fuck, I'm so embarrassed. No. Like from someone at Adidas. <laughs> like, oh really? People, how much you're getting? And paid? it wasn't even the amount. It was like way more or something. Like really? That. Yeah, like, oh, you told like, people that you were getting more than what you were getting? No, no. It's a game like, of telephone. It got back. <laughs> no, someone like just made some, like was just exaggerating. Oh, like, oh I'm getting five thousand. Oh, is he getting six thousand? Man, he's getting seven thousand. Man, he's getting ten thousand yeah, yeah, dollars. Yeah. Like, oh shit. And probably one of the like you know the dudes on the squad are like, wait, hold so, up. So yeah, he, I felt mean? I felt bad about that. I I learned my lesson. Yeah, you know, like I, you know from there. I thought you were going to say you made a YouTube video about how much you made. <laughs> uh, I mean, those rumors should happen even without you saying anything. Well, yeah, I mean, well, sure, yeah, that's true. true. No that's true, sure. too. Yeah, it's an interesting world. I, I love it. But that's, I mean, that's every kid's dream. You're sk skating for Adidas, getting paid. No, yeah. Doing, like, the unboxings, unboxing videos at that time yep, was yep, like, yep. That was, yeah, that was my fucking dream, to get a box from a company, you know? Mm -hmm. And a yeah and you could see like you could it translates in the video like see how fucking happy i was i like, would i, I yeah. watched as like I, a fan you know because yeah. i wasn't like a sponsored skit so it's like, almost like i didn't deserve it or whatever, like, this is new for me. Or like yeah. from the fan like i feel like i'm one of you guys i'm one of the fans getting this shit like this is what it'd be like you know yeah. like, but also like you're creating content around the free stuff too you know at that yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, would, I would watch some of your unboxing videos. You'd be sitting on your bed. You'd get the little Adidas box, cut it open. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I watch some shit, you know? <laughs> but um, I just, I mean, listen, I applaud you oh, because... Uh, that was a uh, good save. Sorry. <laughs> we'll get you a fresh one in a minute, though. But I brought like 4,100 beers here. I applaud you, though, because like putting yourself out there is tough, especially, you know what I mean? For even a kid, right? It's like you're, what, I mean... I was, I was a bit older. <laughs> you no, called yourself college. a kid. You were 23 years old. Yeah. Um, but How as did, Kelly was saying earlier, yeah. it's like, you know, t skaters weren't doing that a lot, you know? So putting yourself out there on YouTube, I just couldn't, I couldn't even imagine. You know what I mean? Back then, po pointing a the camera at myself and doing like unboxing videos. No, it was definitely fucking awkward at first. Yeah. Like back in when I was... So before I started all that, like I went to a YouTube convention called VidCon and mm -hmm. that's what like inspired me because I saw a bunch of other people doing it. Okay. I was like, damn, this is cool. Everyone's doing it. Like this is like, I don't feel like, I, I feel I would feel comfortable doing it. And I saw that community, mm -hmm. like they got their all, they got their own community. You sure. Know? Yeah. And um, I came back from that and I, I met some of my favorite like YouTubers and mm -hmm. that was like super inspiring. And, damn. and that's what well, I who's, who's some of your favorite YouTubers that you met? At that time... There was this guy named Wheezy Waiter. I don't, I mean, mm. yeah. There was this, 
the singer named Kina Grannis at the time. She was sick. Um, so they're all different types of like. Yeah, I don't know. Like there was like, yeah, a bunch of different types of YouTubers right. that I met. Wait, when you were when you went to this VidCon, how many subscribers did you have? I think that was before I started. That was before you started. Yeah, like you were already the, interested in it. It's like at the end of learning. high school or. Okay. Yeah, I was like. At, after high school, wow. before college, or right in the in between phase, maybe. Did you just sneak in? Get kicked Not out of that. any booths? No, I bought my dad's okay. pass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Chris, you were saying earlier, like, oh, you, you got boards or road for you know, element and cliche. Were you like sending sponsor me tapes into into these companies, or was it just they saw you on YouTube and they hit you up? How did you connect? Get connected with these brands? Um, I sent my sponsor tape to a few things when I, I filmed one video part ever. Mm -hmm. Um, this is like when I was starting YouTube, maybe there was a CCS contest actually. Oh, sick. Where you would get like sponsored for a year. I don't know if you guys remember, but yeah. I sent my video part to them. Uh, didn't get that. What? I sent my video part to, I think I only sent my video part to the CCS contest and then blind cause Seville was right for blind. Okay. So he like gave me an email and I sent it to blind, but did you? This is a video that's on YouTube, right? The video, mm -hmm. your video part. That's a good part, yeah, dude. It's yeah. insane. Thanks. So you, you sent it to CCS and then you, uh, and that was it in blind? I think that was it, yeah. Well, I mean, later on, I I think the only, I think I tried to get sponsored by like Thunder maybe. Uh -huh. And then I think they sent me like, I don't know if it was a joke or not. Or, I don't know if it was a joke or not, but they sent me like a video of some like kid skating, like a little kid skating. They were like, what, what? I don't know what they it was. They sent you a tape back? Yeah, they were like, you should... I forgot what it was, but I... They gave me an email, and I sent my... I sent something to them, and they said, try to make it like this or something. It was like some kid skating or something. That's the only video I've ever sent. I don't know. Yeah, it was wow. weird. But I just buy their trucks now. It's fine. <laughs> they sent you a VHS back? No, I don't... VHS. I have to find the email. The YouTuber sent a VHS. It was like they were trying to show an example of like, this is the sponsor me tape, or this is Format the example. or something? Yeah, it was like without music. And oh, it was okay. Like, yeah, but it was like yeah, a kid yeah. skating, like an eight-year-old or something. It was probably Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It was a Damn, long time ago. Jeez. That, that's pretty... I epic. think it was like an automated thing, maybe, that, or I don't know. You know. An automated thing. <laughs> Send out the standard reply there. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's but, interesting. Wait, so you sent them that exact footage with the song to it um it might have been without with or without the music maybe i yeah. might have sent both oh and i think i sent something to maybe primitive mm. maybe primitive yeah but then i just yeah at some point uh cliche sorry getting bored, bored from cliche but how did you how did you get bored from cliche uh al i think oh, reached sick. out to me somehow I'll maybe yeah Sick. Um, I remember when I worked with Steve Douglas and Bob were talking about bringing you in to help us with uh, YouTube stuff. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to tell you, Raj. Yeah, Raj. Is oh, bed. shit. <laughs> yeah, he's, okay. in the, he's back there. Well, that's what I was telling, that's what I was trying to explain earlier was like these companies were so interested in how to break into YouTube and these different social media platforms that mm -hmm. Bob Boyle and them at Dwindle were going to bring you in for a meeting to ask how to do it i had Results. a meeting with yeah you said steve douglas yep i had a meeting yeah i went to is it no not do is it dwindle, dwindle. Yeah, dwindle. Yeah, yeah, yeah he brought yeah. me in dwindle and like we had a great talk he was asking me a bunch of questions uh -huh. and um yeah it was really cool did you get paid for that <laughs> what do you mean? Just a consultant? It was a, it was a, it was a one day internship yeah. you know it's funny a lot of people like in the higher ups at companies have heard about you like back then Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Because I know Don Brown's a big fan of you. Mm. Don's you, so sick. I Don's amazing. Guy. Yeah. But I remember it, me and him talking. I was like, dude, we should, we tried giving you. We, I think I sent you a box at least once. Um. Or at least offered no, but it. I've talked to you guys about it. Yeah, yeah. We've talked. Yeah. So if you want shoes, I got you. But <laughs> yeah, I appreciate. It. <laughs> I appreciate that. But I know Don was always stoked in what you were doing with YouTube. As God, well. I wish you know when because uh, ES was my. You. Yeah, I sent Don clips of like me wearing S all the oh, time. Oh, back like, in the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was like my life. Yes, yeah. Game Skate. Damn. Those are good times. If my younger self just heard that now. Yeah. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> that's no, but that's awesome though. Like you, you created like you, you skipped past like the team managers and went like the guys, the action sports guys were like, "Yo, we want to fuck with you." You know what I mean? Like you weren't sending your sponsor me tapes <clears throat> to like the team managers. 
kind of feel like an asshole for that. <laughs> I don't think you are at all. <laughs> no. I would have done the same thing if I could have. Fuck they yeah. Might they might have looked at it a little differently. You know, you never know. I, I think that know. was the changing point, though. Like, mm -hmm. skateboarding was set in such a weird way. You had to do things a certain way. Yeah. 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 And, it, and if you didn't, you were like, people looked at you kind of weird. Right. And you did it in a way where it went right past people and, got, and the uppers were like, we want that kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that's awesome, dude. Yeah. I know it sounds weird. But I applaud, I applaud it because, fuck, man. I kind of did the same thing, but nothing close to YouTube. I was just like, I'll throw all my shit on Instagram right now. I'm not filming for any video part. I don't give a shit. Right. <laughs> so it's good to go against the grain sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It didn't. I guess it didn't feel against the grain. It just was something I was doing outside of skating. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like if right. I don't know, like if I was pursuing acting, whatever, and became a famous actor. And sure. Just happened to be skating too, but of course, maybe companies would want to send you shit for publicity, like. I don't know, Justin Bieber skates. Yeah. So like companies would want, I don't know, like. They were going to send him shit. Yeah. Right. Or, so I you're probably know. getting sent. Not to compare at all, but. No, 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 no. Yeah. Can I like, enable box too? <laughs> Justin Dude. Bieber. He's got some he excels. Did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yeah. So I'm sure skate companies were sending you stuff to try to get their shit in your video. Product placement stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it would happen. Um, Grizzly was sick. That was like mm -hmm. a dream. Diamond. Um... Yeah, there are a lot of board companies. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just pretty slide around cool, for a little man. bit. Do you ride for someone right now? Uh, I'm just skating. Actually, I'm buying blanks right now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Just do, you, on. do you ever thought about start, like starting your own brand of some sort or, um, or with friends or something? Or I've thought about it, but mm, maybe just like as merch. Maybe maybe not like a board company, but just sell some bo sell some boards. Mm -hmm. Be cool. Because you do well, merch that makes, right that now, makes sense. right? Um, kind of. I've kind of been off of it, but really, I would like to get back on it. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get my life together, <laughs> dude. <laughs> trying to get my life together. It's it's a like, lot, hey, you seem like you're doing a, a lot, bro. So. I know. There's a lot of stuff. Listen, we, I mean, even here at the night, we have problems with merch and this and that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do, but you have a following, you know, like you have your own community that'll obviously buy shit. You know, no, <clears throat> would you put your name on a board? Uh, no, no, no. Turn yourself, bro. Come on. I feel you know what's weird though. I feel like you could you could put your name on a board and it would sell really good. I, I agree. You know what I mean. And I know it might feel weird to do that yourself, but if you did that and it sells, <clears throat> then who the fuck cares? Straight up. If you did it and no one bought it, then I'd be like, you must feel like a jackass. But nah. I <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank <laughs> I mean, you. I everything's, being, way so, putting it, but everything's I, I, being so done differently now. That, yeah. Like, right. I think that you have this is the perfect lane for you to do it. You mean you've already been doing it. So it's like, why hold yourself back? Especially if like you can do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you can make boards. You can make boards. Fucking, you can buy boards 15 bucks and turn around and sell them like for fucking. Yeah. You know? I know. I feel like. Not that that's the key. I'm just saying, obviously, you want to be able to be proud of doing something like that and not just be hesitant because like am i doing something wrong like should i do this it, like there's so many like uncharted territories that yeah you know i mean i i i guess i feel like i have to respect some like past like culture i don't know what the word i'm not i, I know i to totally respect that i, respect I know that what you're saying for um, sure like because boards is like a sacred territory mm. kind of and so I don't know. That's one that like I'll sell T-shirts and stuff. Yeah. Um. The board. I. I mean. Yeah. P, I, I think people would buy boards for sure. Um. But to put my own name on a board, I, it feels like, I don't know. Creatively, yeah. I wouldn't no? be stoked on that. Mm -hmm. But I guess I respect. That I would. A lot. Yeah, I would. Time. I would definitely sell some boards. Just like like this is my. This is like some art I yeah. put out or something. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Is in association yeah, 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 with yeah. a video, maybe. Sure. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. What about how, Seva? I don't think he has a board sponsor right now, does he? I don't think so. You guys are so. buddies. Boom. He's a team right there. Boom. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you guys have, have you talked about that. Um. Actually, we just a little bit. But no, not really. No, to answer your question, no. But it's been mentioned very briefly, just as recently. But no. mm. I think no. you got to start it's right just, here. You got something to work yeah. with. Yeah, real talk. Because I, yeah, I just feel like there's so much going on in terms of the creative space on like YouTube and stuff. Like there's just a, uh, to add another, another layer, yeah, right, that's thing yeah, to right, go on. Sure. What's your? Uh, I know you don't have a schedule for videos, but do, are you releasing stuff uh, quite often right now? 
<laughs> no. No? <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's been a little while. I kind of. When been... was the last video? What? What? Do you remember how long ago? Well, the last video that's uploaded was about two months ago. But I up, I uploaded a video about a week and a half ago, but I deleted it. Why? Really? What happened? I deleted it. I felt a little insecure about it. Really? It wasn't yeah. getting the traction? I spent like two months on a video okay. about watching my first scary movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> but you took it down. I took it down, yeah. Wh why? Why would you take it down? Was because there, were there comments? <clears throat> was it something that was just you were feeling inside i mean were you were you tentative on posting it in the first place i guess because it was kind of it sounds ridiculous but it was kind of like a vulnerable subject a little bit okay like because i actually didn't have never watched a scary movie before whoa and so whoa, i made a whole whoa, whoa. story about it okay you, know? you watched you've never you've watched never watched it. it and then that's how you watched it was just I made a video about it. yeah i made a video about it <laughs> did you have did you just set up the cameras and just watch have watch a movie <laughs> Yeah, it was more to that. It was explaining, like, going, like, w into the roots of why that happened. Because like, oh. it's kind of ridiculous, you know. Um, but now I have seen a scary movie. You saw more than me. It was cool. Wait, what was it? Uh, we watched Insidious. Oh, oh. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Way to dive in. Dubs yeah. loves the scary movies. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite genre. Yeah, I never, <laughs> I never understood it. Because, like, it just... <laughs> favorite genre mm -hmm. it is why so you deleted it yeah but i'm working on some other stuff i'm stoked on now. two months though that's a lot of time to work on a video and then re and then delete it yeah hmm. yeah how did you feel about the scary movie after um, you watched it or it was it was cool it? i enjoy I actually enjoyed it yeah i walked out of it, i was like damn that was sick um i get it like i get the adrenaline thing it okay. feels good okay. yeah um I guess I mean yeah. I just from a from a kid, we just never really watched scary mm -hmm. movies, and it somehow continued through adulthood. I don't okay. know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not a big scary movie guy either. I don't watch. Them. Can I give you like a top five scary movie list? Yeah, I would love to do that. Not at the museum right now. No, not right now. I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna give gonna it to him after the show. He's gonna yeah. prepare. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, prepare. Yeah. I want to give him the good like some good ones. I have to sit down and fucking think about it. Mm. What's one right off the top right now you can think of? Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> scary. Terrifying. Fuck. I don't know what would be my one, dude. Euphoria. Dude. Euphoria. That show. You mean the show. That show. That show is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Blair Witch. Face it no. 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 I had to do research, so I mean, I got to blast them off. Yeah. The you, Conjuring. The Conjuring. Oh, actually, that's, yeah, a, good the that's a good one. The Ring. That's like later. Ring is good. What about uh, the Saw movies? You seen those? So, um, it's a great it's cool genre it's not that it's, yeah. that's like more gory I did it's, see some of a Saw movie when I was younger yeah and my ex in high school made me like watch that and I was like did not like that at all. yeah it's <laughs> a <laughs> interesting way of god I'm like having they're a good though for it. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre definitely the first OG one is, mm. is definitely legit what about Nightmare on Elm Street Nightmare on Elm Street for sure yeah Freddy Krueger definitely Child's Play no <laughs> <laughs> no uh Man, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna make the list. Okay. I'm gonna make the list. Make the list. Chucky, there's a, there's a you were you were fuck with Chucky? Nah, not he's not on the top five. No, Chucky mm -hmm. is not on top five. He kind of scared me when I was a kid because I was mean, literally the doll. The doll. The doll. Because sure. I was a yeah. kid and I was like, dude, the fucking dolls coming to life, killing people. <laughs> that dude sucked. But, <laughs> let's put that. Let's put that back up now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious to see the, that that YouTube video. So, do you do you consider yourselves now YouTube skaters? Wow. That's, a good, that's a good question. Or just YouTubers. No, I we're YouTube mean, talkers. We have a YouTube, YouTube talkers. Yeah. Isn't it weird, though? <laughs> because, like, I'm not... <coughs> I don't think we're YouTubers. Hey, you're one of us now, fucker. I know, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're on two platforms, right? We got the podcast, the audio version. Yeah. So, and then we got the, your YouTube shows. Yeah, I mean, I, we're, I'm in, we're in the YouTube universe. And I'll tell you what, I love it. I love it. It's... It is scary though, too, because we're like you, we were talking about it's a business, right? So mm -hmm. when you start in the YouTube universe and you start a business like this show, it becomes scary because YouTube, they change their policies all the time. They, uh, you know, your CPMs, clips, clicks per yeah thousand, thousand you know <laughs> falling off um, not getting views not getting views you start questioning that and you start doing this you okay this and um if you get demonetized for this you got like 
it's a scary, it, it can become very scary, yeah. right? Because if we got demonetized <laughs> tomorrow, we're fucked. We have gotten, we, we were caught up a little bit in the whole, um, what were they calling it? The uh, adpocalypse yeah, stuff. We I got, did too, yeah. We got caught up a little bit. Remember that, Raj? Remember when we got, our whole channel got... Uh, yeah, there was like a two, three week window. Yeah. Um, and that hurt us, you know? Because mm -hmm. the bigger you start becoming, the more money it costs, obviously. We got this monitor here. We got this. We yeah. got cameras. This camera breaks. We need the, we got a soundboard. It's like, we got lights. Like, it becomes, Cheers to that, too. That's fucking awesome. Thank you. It's it, so sick. It becomes a lot, you know? Yeah. So it's a, definitely a scary world to, to live in, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm mm -hmm. sure you, you dealt with a lot of that stuff, too. You got demonetized. Yeah, for like... A month or two months or something like that. I just hmm. like to shut my money off like completely. I was like, oh shit. Wow. And at that point in time, you didn't have any contacts at YouTube mm. that you could like hit up and be like, hey, I'm dude, what what's going on? No, I had one guy. Okay. Yeah, and but he it's still like figured out. It took a while for him to get back. And, really? Uh, Damn. And it was uh, it was out for a little bit. Okay. I was scared. Yeah. Did actually. You said you had one contact at YouTube when you started to get bigger at YouTube. Did YouTube take notice of you? Um, I guess yeah. They reached out. They reached mm -hmm. out. They're like, hey, if you, where your, I'm, I'll be your contact. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, so that's right, what right, it was. Right. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Chris knows more about this yeah. stuff. But did you go into like YouTube? Uh, oh no, no, it wasn't that big. <laughs> no? no, like the headquarters or something. Yeah, no. no. Chris went there. Oh, it's amazing, bro. Oh, shit. You should go. Yeah, we got invited. You know, that's it. But it is. I mean, uh, there's skaters everywhere. You know, skaters run this world. So you know, yeah. they they hit us up. Um, just he was just a fan of the show. He's like, that's hey, up. I work at YouTube. Fucking anything you guys need. Blah blah blah. Oh, that's so cool. Um, but yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a scary thing because it's like it's literally getting fired from your job yeah. without any any warning. Mm -hmm. You know. So how did you navigate that when that happened? Um. I, well, at that time, I just thought, okay, well, I just have to double down on like merch or something or like, right. oh, shit. yeah, yeah. Like, another revenue stream. Maybe like say less cuss words and try to get more brand deals, maybe. Right. There you go. Right, Did they say right. why? Let's sell out a little bit more. <laughs> Did they say why you got demonetized? Um, no, but at the time, I had done some like dumb content that mm. was probably, I don't know. Yeah. And at that time, they, we're doing a channel review on a lot of people. Okay. And so they shut off my monetization and they're reviewing. I was like, ah, oh, shit, I just did like two bad videos. Oh. oh. And, um, yeah. And I think I, one of the videos was like, I was like eating my own piss from a snow cone or something like that. I don't know. It was like, it was stupid shit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Sounds wholesome. <laughs> that gets the views. I was like, wholesome. I was like, of course, yeah. the timing on this. I was like, damn right, it. Right. So I was right. like, there's no way it's not going to get monetized. Yeah. Damn. So I thought it shut off, but then. <coughs> then it came back. It came back. But yeah. you were doing videos of like leaving YouTube. Was that just all a, a ruse? Or? No, that was at that time. Yeah. So I made a skit about getting demonetized right. and I was actually getting demonetized. Um, and then it came back and I made like a comeback video. Yeah. Were you yeah. thinking about leaving YouTube or you was that? Um, that was kind no, of that was a, part of the skit. Okay. I took a break. Got you, got you. Took a break. Um, but. Because yeah, when, when you came, you, you did you did a comeback video. You had like Casey Neistat and Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Um, how did even that come about? Yeah, were they in the video? Yeah. 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 Um, what? <laughs> yeah, Casey Neistat DM me because you saw the goodbye video. And then, yeah, did you ever talked to him before? Uh no, 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 just a fan. Yeah. And he That's just crazy. randomly DMs you. He was like, "Yo, I love that video. Like, are you really quitting?" And, um, you didn't even think he, you were on his radar. No, no, yeah, no. It's pretty crazy. So I flew out to New York. He was like, I was like, you want to be in like the comeback video? She was like, yeah, I'm down. And then he didn't respond because he's like the busiest, like sure. famous guy ever. So I just flew out there with no like, I just flew out there to maybe do the video with him to film wow. this comeback video. It was oh. he's okay. And okay. he didn't get back to me on, until like the last day. And also on the last day, the day before, I got. Uh, a connection with the Jimmy Fallon thing and it just kind of like that was like last minute too I did this those in the, like the same day or like day after or something and I was like holy shit this is crazy this is what? and then my monetization came back like wow I think around that time like wow I was in it was no in New York way. yeah I was 
Did you, how did the Jimmy Fallon date? Was it just like a buddy of a buddy or something? Yeah, like, yeah, a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. It's so funny because I, I saw the video, right, when it came out. And I'm like, how did this motherfucker get Jimmy Fallon and Casey Neistat? And then I'm thinking, from the outside looking in, I'm thinking like, oh, well, Chris is a, you know, successful, you know, YouTuber. He's probably got an agent that probably knows yeah, yeah. a Jimmy Fallon agent <laughs> that probably knows a Casey Nice. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. but it, it it's nothing like that. So like, not official. So not oh, official. Yeah. I was so, like all our, we were, we had like five minutes with him <laughs> and then like, he was so nice too. And all our like audio equipment just failed. Oh my God. And I was just like, oh my God. I was like, all right, we gotta, we gotta go. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I just like took my iPhone out and I just put the audio recorder on. I was like, but we got to work with something you know really put on the table yeah the audio actually came out good damn but were you nervous i mean he's fuck yeah so nervous he, 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 did like jimmy that. did he know who you were or anything he's just like oh i got to do this thing for a buddy um like pretty much imagine. that but he but i mean he was like my head friend had told him and okay. he watched some stuff and uh, like yeah he was like briefed i guess okay right yeah, she was brief. Yeah. <laughs> so, what did you did you have not a script, but like kind of a thing you Dude, wanted to do with him? We kind of just wrote this like on on the spot, like pretty much. Yeah. And were just you telling Jimmy lines. like, hey, you got to say this, or you got to, or this is the premise of this? Yeah, I didn't say you have to say this, but I was <laughs> like, this is what we we're thinking. You okay. know, it's Jimmy Fallon. Like they had an idea. They had an idea. And then we were like, well, we were thinking we could do this, <laughs> you know? So we had like an idea what to do. And were there other people around him? Like, yeah, like, all his team were like watching. They were what? Yeah. That makes it even more fucking yeah, nerve wracking. Fuck, yeah. I got to do this thing in front of all these people and Dude, Jimmy Fallon. I know. And our audio equipment was failing. I was Dude. like, I only have like one We're try. like amateurs walking in here. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Sorry. We don't have any. I will just use the iPhone. They're tapping each other. Like, yeah. I, put, <laughs> I, know. I put my feet on the table. That was pretty cool. Really? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone. Oh, you went on to a set, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, I have seen that. That's fucking insane. Yeah. What, what happened with Casey Neistat? Um, so it was the last day and I was DMing him and he like responded like last minute. I was like, yo, I'm just like, I'm next, I'm right by your building. So whenever you're ready, like I'll be here. It was raining. We were like going inside, <laughs> of, outside of this like store, like eating okay. snacks outside. It was raining cold. And then he came through and it was so cool. He was super cool too. Such a nice guy. Wow. Damn, dude. We see him, uh, well, Raj has seen him a bunch of times because he moved down to Venice. I don't oh, yeah. think, I think he moved more inland now. Mm -hmm. no, he's back in New York now, but he went from Venice to Santa Monica. Oh, he's back in New York now. Yeah, he'd see him on the boardwalk. Yeah, all like the time. running or yeah. riding his bike and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, Booster board. Yeah. No, he's always on his electric uh, bike oh. with his kid. Oh, yeah, that's right. But he's a legend. Yeah, Casey Neistat. So that's cool, though. That's cool that this thing, you know, you've gotten to work with different, you know, these kind of celebrities. Yeah, definitely, you know. Yeah, it's pretty. Like Casey, not like you're on Casey Neistat's radar. I know. Yeah. What like that's fuck? crazy. <laughs> yeah. You made a goodbye video, and Casey Neistat's like, "Are you really leaving YouTube?" Like that's yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Have you met any other like, I, I guess you could say, famous people through doing these YouTube videos? Uh. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. Who? Um off the top of my head, shit. Um someone Cuz a lot of people like skating. Like right. a lot of people like love skating, especially now, you know? Yeah. Definitely. So I feel like now more than ever. Definitely. It's happening. Mm. Um I don't know, I'm blanking on names now, but like yeah, the DMs, you're just getting DMs from people? Um or, Like yeah. how does that work? How do you reach how does people reach it? Like I don't know. Off yeah, the top. Be, right? yeah, there's no YouTube yeah, messaging, yeah. right? Yeah. No, yeah, no I, guess, I guess DMs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess DMs. Friends of friends, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Have you reached out to anybody? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything come of it? Casey Neistat. That's true. Oh, no, no, he messaged me. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I love that, man. You guys? For sure. I'd we had a little Wayne on the show. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Episode twenty-five. We didn't know what the That's fuck sick. we were doing. We still don't know what we're doing, Dude, but you know, yeah. a long time ago. Well, I yeah. meant like, you, like hanging out with you guys. Yeah. There oh, is. you're talking about? <laughs> oh, <I thought>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Farthest thing from my mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Um, Wait, I have a question. Yeah. Well, not a question, but do you guys ever see me in the, like the? I mean, I know you do. Like, I go on the live chats. I like comment on there sometimes. Like, well, I see a you. Lot. Yeah, yeah. I see you. And we like. Yeah. So it's crazy. It's like, oh, no, on the experience. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, live, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah dude, I'm always, show. I'm always hopping on. There. I love it, dude. Yeah, I love and, you, it. and your as you, your name. 
Yeah. yeah, I yeah. didn't. I've never seen people. Well, we can't well, see, it. We can't see, we can't see it. We can't see it now. Yeah, right, right, right. But I, when we were before we were live, we used to do the we used to do a premiere of it mm. and talk to the chat. I'd see you pop in there. Yeah, yeah. So I have the see. chat going here, but it, it's hard for me to see sometimes, mm. like everybody in there. But it's rad. I'm sure people are like, "What? Chris Chan's in the chat? Blah blah blah." Dude, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love. Yeah, I love just being on there and supporting shit. Have oh. you done premiere <laughs> stuff like that style for your channel at all? Uh, a handful of times. Yeah, mm. a handful of times. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you on like Twitch and stuff like that as well? Uh, no, no. I don't really do much live stuff. Yeah. I think you'd be good at it. I yeah. mean, why, why not, though? Ah, dude, no. Why? Because then you have to show your real personality. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No That's doubt. why people like you. It's your real personality. But I think it's rad, though, to be able to connect live with your audience. No, yeah. It's you know, sick. and be it's able sick. to, like, yeah, cool too. directly talk to them. Yeah. Twitch is a great platform. I, I love all these platforms. Like, uh, know, YouTube. I feel fucking boring. Like, I don't, I, I feel like I would have to, like... But here, constantly be thinking of how am I going to be entertained no but something. here's that's right. the thing though is like the chat you're reading what the chat's ta talking about mm -hmm. so you're they're basically like feeding you shit to like yeah. talk about yeah. so right. it's like kind of a no brainer yeah. it's like you don't have to like prepare or do anything yeah. like also just like saying some shit I don't know. Like, I feel like I say crazy shit all the time. Yeah. And I just, I'm scared of saying some shit that's going to get me canceled. Yeah, but you know you're alive, <laughs> dude. You can, I don't know, you know, but I, did you never, once you say it, it's never going back, yeah, you know? That's true. Yeah, that's so Hit that true. that delete button real quick. Yeah. No, but it's, I, I love these new platforms and yeah. stuff. And now we're seeing different skaters on Twitch, too. Like, Gary yeah. Rogers is on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jaws, it, Jaws, Tom Asta. Yeah, I think uh, I seen a shot on there. Um, yeah, people are people are doing it and yeah. stuff. Yeah. You could cheat on video games. Well. <laughs> on Twitch dude I'm, that's not me what, what? autoplay dude yeah. that was one time autoplay <laughs> yeah, just, one time you to chop wood and just leave it going see <laughs> good, good, chop wood good times yeah I love it okay was it an actual like on PC or something PC you had to, game and you would mod it or something and cheat? honestly no I would just like put an auto clicker that was like on the computer's like um, handicap setting oh you know I would okay. just click it to auto, auto click and, and you go out and auto click your tail around chop wood <laughs> get my experience up get that double xp okay okay wow. are you still into video games do you play any video games now not as much i wish i still love them but yeah. i just get motion sickness now oh you do oh, interesting wow. yeah it took okay. away my biggest passion mm. sucks interesting not even like um i mean I, yeah i guess motion sickness is a, yeah i get it from like screens too just really even, like yeah huh. sucks wow. ass Boats, now just imagine cars. putting on the fucking things and like oh going into God, another room. Oh jeez! Well, I, can I see gotta, how that can get motion sickness. So you said you're take you took a little break from YouTube like last two months. What do you do on your off time? <laughs> um, trying to get my life together. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean though? Like, are yeah, you, like no. skating, <laughs> but also just kind of preparing for what's coming up. Or oh what? yeah, always I'm always skating, just trying yeah. to learn new tricks. Mm -hmm. That'll never go away. Um whatever side projects there's always something mm -hmm. random going on i don't mm -hmm. know yeah do you, you feel like you're in, <clears throat> when you're taking the time off are you just filming clips and posting on instagram is that kind of where your footage goes to or do you save your footage for um, are you working on a video like a your own part or anything um no but i've been thinking about doing something similar similar to that yeah yeah mm. um yeah i guess i just post the clips to yeah no i don't yeah i don't have like a filmer to film like a street part so no, no i haven't been doing that so right, i just skate right. with friends and then that's cool but i, I do want to work on something soon for you should too. man i'd love that I, sure. well i like i love watching you skate very Definitely. very talented Thank the flat you. ground is crazy um yeah. you do some it, interesting dude. tricks i love it dude i love it so no twitch no nothing let's get on this dude just set up the twitch i love i love it I you love guys it. on tiktok or what no no I fucking have TikTok. I'm not on it. You on the so. TikTok? I am, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you like that better than Instagram? Um, I know they're different to a certain extent, but they're kind of the same, I feel like. Like the content? To watch the content? The content actually might be a little different, too. I don't know. But I, I don't know too much about TikTok. But mm. is there... I think the TikTok algorithm works better for what you want to watch. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, true. That makes sense. True. Yeah. Um, Instagram. So I have it... Like Okay. So I have it kind of categorized. Okay. So on Instagram, I would keep it like skating and like fashion stuff. Okay. And then on YouTube, uh, I 
vlogs with friends mm. and storytelling and creative ventures. Sure. Okay. Um, and then I guess TikTok just like comedy skits and real life stuff, whatever. Shorter. Okay. Yeah. Shorter. Short term vlogs. I don't yeah. Know. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Got you. Yeah. So. <clears throat> It's interesting that you say, because YouTube, you know, the way that everybody talks about the algorithm this, the algorithm that, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, posting like once a week, if one video does well, you know, it, it'll maybe uh, pull, uh, take your next video to put it in front of more people. You know, it's a mm -hmm. whole thing that, that everybody talks about. Do you, so. and now you're not, you're like, oh, I didn't post video for a month or whatever. Do you see your views like fluctuate, like like crazy or is it pretty <coughs> consistent even though you're not posting on youtube that much uh no views definitely fluctuate for sure okay um but i i never want to be the guy the the type of guy to blame it on the algorithm okay. i've always told yeah, like if a if video is good it's good if the content is good right. and you're yeah if it's good it's good mm -hmm. and but i mean you still have to post somewhat consistently you can't right. just never post and, but um but yeah, no, posting consistently does help the algorithm. Sure. But overall, just if your audience retention is good, like you're keeping people on the video, right? And you have a decent like thumbnail title, it yeah. helps. Thumb the title is like damn near everything. <clears throat> hmm. It's like we have one second to grab yeah. somebody's attention and click on their on your video. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bonkers. Do you throw like clickbait titles out there? Um, I definitely have. Yeah. I mean, no, I try not to, I never like lie. I try not to lie. Right. That's the rule. Don't lie, but you can like entice yes. or whatever. Yes. But I feel like it's, it's, I don't think people, I think it's like out of style now. I don't think people do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Cause like, it's just not, I don't know. I think people are past that maybe. Yeah. It's, it was like a big trend for a while. Yeah. I think it was like, okay for an, okay to do right. for a while and it worked, but now maybe not as much mm. people more hip to it people like yeah people like um authenticity right yeah, yeah. true real so when you're not posting for a while because that's the thing is like youtube is your job it's a business right mm. and so obviously revenue is a big thing too yeah so if you're not posting for a month or two your revenue is going to be dipping Shit. yes so how do you savings? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's, that's why you're able to do what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, right. That makes sense. Right. Totally. Yeah. Right. So no, but there's. I mean, there's other. I actually. Oh, well, <clears throat> I've been doing like side modeling jobs mm, lately. Oh. Um, uh, so just it helps you. helps with money. Um, gotcha. And there's brand deals that okay. help. So yeah, there's brand deals. You can do merch. Mm -hmm. um, some people do Patreon. Yes. Do you do Patreon? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Do you have memberships on your channel? Uh, I People's I haven't used it on my really? channel, but I think I have the option. You should. Shit, is that something that's is that like a good? It's um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 basically a Patreon <clears throat> that's embedded into YouTube. Oh, so shit. it's like your people, your fans that want to support you will pay. So just that. And you can set it to whatever you want, like ninety nine cents a month, two ninety nine, four ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine, whatever. Damn. So you could like, you know, it helps and people want to support their favorite creators, you know? Damn. So you should you look into that. You can give discounts to, you know, your merch and stuff like that. Little perks, mm -hmm. you know? That's cool. Yeah. Do you guys do merch or brand deals and stuff like we that? We do merch. We do brand deals. Um, it's kind of, I think it's different for us, you know, because we're a podcast. When are you guys going to sell out? Um, <laughs> every chance we get. I guess if you uh, <laughs> That McDonald's... Yeah, we, uh, Br bring it on Taco I'll, Bell I'll let's fucking go I'll Big Mac right now I'll fucking, you know what I mean but I think yeah. that's the thing is like we joke about that type of stuff so like if it actually happens I think it would be funny like yeah. we joke about like I'll put a Red Bull hat on and if they go on wings <laughs> yeah. and stuff you know it's like yeah. Taco Bell we'll have a little thing right here a little platter you know we we joke about it you yeah, know because yeah. like it's funny no, yeah. our whole thing over here and I've said it many times is like we try to we we want to celebrate skateboarding you know we want to Anytime, anytime we could help skate shops or small companies or just any company for that matter, you know, it's like we don't want to take money out of skateboard brands. You yeah. know, we want the skateboard brands to be able to pay their riders more. Oh, and, true. Yeah, for sure. Um, pay their employees and get more, you know, we want to help them, yeah. right? Um, the way that we survive here is actually, you know, taking 
a deal from somebody. We don't want to take it from skateboarding, so we'll take it from the outside world, whether it be like a, you know, Manscaped is one of them. Uh, we do like a, we've done like a Draft Kings and stuff like that, and that's kind of where we're at. We'd mm -hmm. rather take that money and not take it from the skateboard companies. At least the core mm -hmm. of skateboard companies. Yeah. For sure. And we, for sure. And we do like uh, Manscaped. Yeah, cool. That stuff's good. Like, it is. We use it. Yeah, we use yeah. it. And right. like, the, yeah, those are solid. Like, oh my God, cool. it's the best. We yeah. want to be authentic to the products that we're trying to upsell here. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be, again, you try to say McDonald's, like I don't eat McDonald's no more. You right. know what I'm saying? But, not to say you that I, some fries? I never, I will eat the fucking fries. <laughs> <laughs> fries are good. But what I'm trying to say is like, I, I used to fucking grub that shit pretty hard. Mm -hmm. But now I'm in a different place, which I'm sure we all are to a certain degree where, look, I'm not scared to fucking to, to rep McDonald's, but at the same time, I don't want to rep McDonald's. You have yeah. right. McDonald's You don't have hat, to. Right? Like a little, a little McDonald's hat? I mean, that's going It's funny. <laughs> like before I started YouTube, my mindset was like, oh, I can't wait to like sell out and like, I don't give a shit if people talk shit. Yeah. If I'm making money, fuck you. Like, it doesn't matter. Sure. Like, that's what my mindset was. Like, I'm not going to like, if I'm killing it, I'm not going to care about the haters. If I'm making money, you know, but here, uh, now that like I've, I'm here, mm -hmm. I was like, care. I care more than ever. I'm like, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. right. I actually do care. Yeah. And that's the thing is when you're in the public eye, you know that it, it comes along with the job you have to have thick skin you know sure. i mean we yeah. get it you know i'm sure you get it a yeah. lot you know and it's like man some of that stuff stings we're human beings you know it's like yeah. i don't know you but your comment doesn't really mean shit to me but sometimes yeah, yeah. it's you know it can get it can get to you a yeah little bit, you know? i mean yeah i mean the way i try to think of it also is like i mean also the world would be a boring place if everything was was like positive sure. and there wasn't any creative difference at yeah. the same time too. Definitely. But yeah, so definitely I've definitely typed out whole responses like you motherfucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely yeah. typed Wait, it out. Right, right. I've, I've I've done the same thing. I've typed it sometimes I'll if I have a little quirky thing really quick, I'll just whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. it's such an energy sucker, man. Like, even on like Instagram, bro, I'm like, do I want to really comment back to this dude right now? I'm just I can't even I can't even believe I'm fucking thinking about this so much. <laughs> well, yeah. That's leave this alone. That's right. the craziest part. Have you, so you we all get that, right? But like, have you ever had anyone come up to you in person and said anything like they commented on? Uh, like, like for the negative? first time recently, like in the past two years, one, yeah, I think it was kind of intoxicated maybe. It was <laughs> kind of crazy guy. What did he say though? It was something like, uh, yo, Chris, like you do the YouTube stuff, right? He's like, you like doing it? I was like, yeah, I love it. He's like, and then, and something he said something like, he was complimenting my skating too, mm. and he was like, "Yeah, well, it's not like it's not cool." Oh, I was like, what? "Oh, I was like, okay." <laughs> like, oh, right. he's, like, he's like, "You think it's cool?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, no, I love it." And he's like, "Well, it's not." I was like, "Oh shit, okay." And, and then he walked off, and then I thought of like ten comebacks. And yeah, like, <laughs> you are, it's always after the fact. Fucker. You're like, should have said that. He got away with should've it. Should have said that. But that's fucked up, you know. Well, that's the one thing too. Like they never really say it to your face. No. And he, like you said, he had right. to be. Other than that, yeah, he had to be. Everyone's wasted. pretty nice. Right. Yeah, yeah, everyone's right. pretty nice. That's cr amazing, though. We how much, uh, how <clears throat> awesome it is to see the love from people, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, big fan." Like how cool that is to feel that in person, mm -hmm. but then you never hear the negative stuff in person. No, it's yeah. always online, and they just. Right, but that's this, actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, you know it is. No, yeah. totally. I don't. Let me hear what you really got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how you feel. Yeah. Awesome. Because I have a lot more people that I fuck with me. You know what I mean? That oh I yeah, yeah. Sure, you know, that for sure. Can build me up, you bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Well, I come up to you like, hey Kelly, you fucking laugh too much, dog. I'm like, sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the okay. Fuck? Thanks. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? It um, definitely shows you what you're most insecure about. That's the thing, you know. Yeah. Shows right. you it's it's not so much about the comment or the comment. It's just re it reveals what you are insecure about. You learn about yourself. Yeah, yeah. true. true. Like, why is that hurting? Oh, because I I feel that way about myself. Right. Cause I'm right. Human. Right. No, because I'm human. And yeah. I have all these emotions, and yeah. he happened to hit one that fucking actually yeah. feels something. For sure, for sure. I think we. I mean, everybody has insecurities. Yeah. You yeah. know, we're just we're humans, and yeah. somebody could touch on that. Like, man, Chris is skinny as hell. Da da ba ba. I'm like. I am, you know, this is how, <laughs> yeah. this is how I am. I don't know. Like, well, I can't change that for you. you. I'm yeah. sorry. I, you want me to be, you know, gain some weight? Sorry about that. Well, you were saying earlier, like, oh, you guys are YouTubers now or whatever. But like when we all entered this world of the YouTube as a skateboarder, 
because we all we did was just put videos out in magazines or whatever, and then you entered this YouTube world. Mm. It it was a different type of um, I don't know how what um, interaction interaction and visibility than anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. then people really start to interact with you in that way. There's more. Sh- more to talk shit about too on a personal level. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Put like yourself out there. Yeah, yeah you would put ourselves out there, right. and it was just a different. But we've gotten great. We have an right. amazing community, so it's been yeah. all love. Well, yeah, when yeah. we first started this, we were ve- I, 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 mean, I was insecure. I think we were all insecure about yeah. certain things. What did I say? Did I do that? Or man, I licked my lips there. I got to cut that out. And it's just like, then you just learn to like, just like. Dude, f- who the fuck cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, dude, wait, if I said something stupid, I said something <clears throat> stupid. Let somebody make a video about a video about a, the, the <laughs> club and yeah. talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, it's, 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 dude, yeah, someone do your a, thing. Someone wrote like a whole article on me on some website and it was like, these for being like too like fake humble or something. I was like, fuck. Are you, <laughs> oh, <laughs> an article? About, about the Chris Cole game or something. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Fake humble about the Chris Cole game. Yeah. How did how did that? What, I what think because in the because of the interview, I was just like, this is like an awesome experience for me, and like I was it an after game interview? Something before and after. I don't yeah, know. They do before okay. and after. Okay. I haven't, it was a while. It was years ago. Got gotcha. you. But it was like a whole like page. I was like, damn. You shit. read the whole thing, obviously. I want to meet this, but I want to talk to you in person, like, like to figure it out. You know, that's yeah. the thing, right? It's like people have such not that. Well, I'm just curious. I just want to, yeah, it's be an interesting conversation. Yeah, that'd be a good video idea, you know. Oh, find yeah. him and be like, we're gonna find him. Yeah, yeah. Put, <laughs> the, the guy little, that left the story. Yeah, do you put his little name on there? I think so. Yeah, really? or I don't know. Yeah, I don't hmm. know. Yeah. Wait, do you? I've noticed that some people on YouTube, they'll something like that will happen, and they'll make a response video right. to that. Is that something that you have done, and you're with your channel in any way? Uh, not lately. I used to. Uh, I did some series like responding to like mean comments like years ago. Mm. Oh, you respond to mean comments? Yeah, a long time ago. Right. Did you feel like that perpetuated more mean comments? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, I was like asking for me, like for people to roast me. And <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and so a lot of them were funny, you know, yeah, like yeah. like like just you know because they're actually fans, sort of just trying to make funny. Sure. Shows. But sure. then a few were like, oh fuck. Yeah, is, your, is there time to dig in? <laughs> <laughs> Went a little too deep right there. Right? Yeah, yeah. God damn. Shit, I need yeah. a band-aid. Chill the fuck out. Fuck. Dude, I watched recently like uh those roasts that are on like Comedy Central. Oh, great. Fuck that shit's funny. Sometimes but you go in you yeah, go in because, knowing that you're gonna get roasted yeah, <laughs> in by famous people too, not they just some get asshole. Gnarly, it, yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's right. only funny if it's true. Oh my god. And then if it's, yeah. yeah. Plus, they're brilliant comedians. They are. Yeah. It's yeah. not some dude behind the keyboard. Who's that? Jeff Ross? Show. He's the one who orchestrates that. Oh, Jeff that. Ross. He's I mean, gnarly. everybody. Lisa Lampanelli, the oh, queen of me. She's great. You got to have thick skin, right? When doing all this. Have you ever been hated on by a fellow YouTuber? Um, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure I have. I right. thought, I'm not off the top of my head, but um, I mean, yeah, I've had my fair small, small share of YouTube beef. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a brand deal. I did a, I think it was like an Axe brand deal. Mm. And uh, I was kind of insecure about doing that because that was like my first, like, not one of my first, like, a bit more corporate, you know? Mm-hmm. Selling out a little bit. Though. Yeah. What yeah. But like, <laughs> now, but I, I, I had used the product at the yeah, time too, Yeah, that's different. That's, you used yeah, the product. Like, I used to you know. use it all the time and I did a little bit at that time. So yeah, yeah. what was the brand deal about? What did they want you to do? Um, I just, it was like just some skate tricks and then just like a little thing about putting it in the hair, like just how I'd style my hair or something. Using the bot, using the thing. So it wasn't like, Hey, this is X here and I'm going to, I tried my best to make it as least like brandily or yeah. I mean, it still was, Right. you could tell it was without doing that. Like, Hey, I tried my best. (laughs) I tried my best. Okay. Of course it's, I mean, it's like, it was a brand, it was a big brand. So like, you can only do so much. It's a double pitch to chesty, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's another thing. I was inspired. I was <laughs> right. like, yeah. As a kid, I'm like, oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, another YouTuber made like a criticism video on it, like okay. calling me out, saying like, this is cringe. Like, why are you like, not why are you? They're just making fun of it. Got you. Got you. And so I was like, fuck. That made me kind of insecure, like to take other brand deals. You know. Mm, what do you um, think that he may or whoever it was he or she made the video just to get? views off of you, what you did or do you think you really cared like wh- what is the point of sometimes doing it? I sometimes know. I, who content. knows what they're thinking yeah. but right. it, sometimes i think it's it's content right oh, yeah. it's like hey yeah. i can make this i can make yeah. a video right now 
because I think this yeah. and it'll know. get like a lot of views. But it's yeah. like I always wonder like, do they really care about it or are they just doing it to get the views? Who knows? Yeah, you know? could a, yeah knows? it could be both. But the funny thing is, the funny thing is, <laughs> years down the line, there was a bit of a, like a little bit of tension mm-hmm. in between. But okay. years down the line, uh, he took the same brand deal. Same brand, Axe brand deal, and it was an oh. anti-bullying campaign. No. <laughs> oh my god! That's fucking interesting. I was like, "Motherfucker!" Wow. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Did did you say anything? Uh, and I was like, "Dude, this is I can oh I can this is my get you so bad right now." But right, no, right, I didn't. Right. I didn't say anything. No, because yeah. we had we had talked at that point, and we were like, "Cool, okay." So okay, but what the the irony? Yeah, was, <laughs> no, it was, it was like this is like is this a joke? But yeah. This is, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think that's the thing that people need to realize. It's like, you know, you try to do an Axe brand deal. I'm sure you've done many, 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 many brand deals. And you try to do it in a way where it's not so blatant and everything. But, you know, man, listen, I mean, I don't know that many people that would turn down something like that. Totally. You know, yeah. I don't care what your, you know, money is money yeah. at the end of the day. You know, and if you can integrate it well into something that you do, maybe and you still and you use the product too. Yeah. You know, it's it's one of those things, man. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's, it's not, no, yeah, because I got after that. Like this is some time after that, mm-hmm. but there was a, I got a good offer from like a a skincare brand deal, oh. and I'm like really into skincare now, okay. and at that time too. And uh, I turned it down because I was insecure about it. Like oh. I was afraid that that would happen. Something similar would happen again, just getting roasted. And it was like a lot of money. And I wow. I regret oh. not taking that now. You regret it now. I feel like I sold out not taking that brand deal now Yeah. because yeah. I wanted to do it. Oh, and it was something I was into, like skincare. Like I buy skincare products. Sure, yeah. so, sure. What's the routine? Um, so <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, routine. <laughs> it's a routine. It's on screen every day. Look at that, I got cut that proactive deal. <laughs> um. So yeah, I felt like selling out, not doing it because mm-hmm. I, I think selling out is just not doing what you honestly want to do. Right. Like yeah. if you don't want to take a brand deal and you take it, that's kind of selling out, I guess. Right. For sure. For and sure. if there's a brand deal that you want to do really badly, but you don't do it because you're scared of what other p- people think, that's kind of selling out too. Right. Right. Yeah. We, um, <laughs> we turn down stuff all the time yeah. to do, you know, and yeah. they're like reputable companies, you know, yeah. like, Hey, do this podcast read or this, or what do you think about that? Or they'll send the product here and we'll try it. And we'll be like, eh, we're no, nah, we're not going to do that. You know? Yeah. So it's we got to really, yeah. it's not authentic. Yeah. And, uh, we, trust me. when we first started this stuff, we, you experiment, right? You dabble with it. We're like, Oh wow, this is great. These companies are going to pay us money to do this podcast read about their product or whatever. So I think in the, you know, in the very beginning stages, we did some stuff that we probably weren't backing, but Mm. you know, it's like, Shit, a thousand bucks goes yeah, a long yeah. way over here. Yeah. This is like we're trying yeah. to like grow yeah, and yeah, do shit. Yeah, you know? exactly. Because you have to think, well, the money is going into something that I want to do. Like, right. I don't know. For me at the time, it was like I want to take my friends to Europe and skate. That sounds like the lifelong dream. <laughs> Beautiful. If I have to, you know, that's all I wanted to do. And right. If it just helps you do what you want to do creatively. Yeah. You know? for sure. But I mean, yeah, there's a line. I mean, you're you just you gotta take some shit like. But there's, there's a certain amount of shit you have, can, can take. Yeah, you know? and I think that also you 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 do get to a point where like, okay, cool, I don't need that thousand bucks yeah, now. Like, yeah. I, we can really hone in on like, I mean, we do like athletic greens, yeah. this this elements, uh, salts, uh, recharge, electrolyte drink, and like stuff that like really health and wellness type stuff. Like we're really like fans of, you know. Sick. So we try <clears throat> to do all that stuff, but it's an interesting world to navigate. You know, really did you, you said that you wanted to take your friends to Europe. Did you do that? Yeah, I did. that's amazing. Yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. Just off building that's, that's like what through taking the or just building up your channel. And then you made videos doing that. Uh, Both. Yeah. Yeah. Just make, you know, the brand deals, merch and uh, yeah, everything YouTube. And that was like the when I look back at like my YouTube journey, like that's I'm sick. so happy that I got to do amazing. that. And I want to do it more. That's all I want. I would want to do just skate take trips with friends and film it that sounds yeah i want to just do that forever bro. for a long time business class? It sounds like we you're go? setting yourself up no. for that bro. <laughs> and you're already yeah. doing it, so that's amazing bro do you ever trip like did you go to europe and people like knew who you were uh yeah we did some meetups yeah oh you, you did meetups that was crazy mm. yeah what, so it's so it sounds like a demo to a certain extent but it's not it's a, what did you like say? a shitty demo <laughs> <laughs> but like, like hey, a we're, youtube skate demo <laughs> but where would you go like hey we're gonna who did you like usually we 
skaters like we do demos like or as companies do demos skate shops where would you do meetups uh i lit- i mean it wasn't it's not like anything like i just did an instagram story like hey i'm gonna be at this park tomorrow okay. and then we just skated and hung out yeah wow. what if you did that and like nobody showed up that's definitely always like the fear yeah <laughs> yeah fuck no, usually nobody was, came <laughs> but did a lot of people show up I know. um at certain places yeah yeah that we did one in uh london and that was insane i was really? like holy wow. shit this is like, it's crazy seeing in real life you yeah know? it's like yeah. damn you guys are like real people yeah. it happens to us yeah. here you know we go to these like skate events and you're like dude yeah it's there's somebody behind that keyboard that's and that must like be crazy fan. too like like because you've had a skate career you know being known mm-hmm. already and then like a second wave of it's like a whole new different thing it's right how, whole do, different how do you compare for me, that or how does I'm that speak on it just because for me i've only been on this show probably for like the last year and a half year and some change so i'm seeing it like now that i'm actually going out because obviously this we have this pandemic and mm-hmm. we haven't really been doing as much as we would be had that popped up mm-hmm. um but dude it's insane like yeah. i'm going i'm like wow you know who i am cool. yeah, yeah. you know what i'm that saying obviously so... having you know obviously <clears throat> being a professional skateboarder and just but the extra layer now of being on the show is so fucking sick and That's it's awesome. totally different than being a like when you're a skater they're like dude you're my favorite skater like all oh, that video part you just came out with and stuff like that yeah, no, it's so amazing now it's like you're in their home when they're eating dinner and breakfast and working and so they it's like they feel like they yeah. know they feel like they yeah know like you, just yeah. coming back from nashville like this dude came up to me he's like dude i, can't, I always can't wait for budget or buttery like, <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm like I'm, yeah. humbled, I'm humbled by that shit like at the end of the day we're just up here shooting the shit and having fun right. you know what i mean right well it's like it kind of works in two different angles it's like that maybe their listeners knew who we were before the show and they watch because like oh cool these are skaters that i know yeah, the past. that must be so for sure. cool for right. them. Y- yeah, like people who like you're their favorite skater, and now you're doing a podcast. Like that must be the coolest thing for them, you know? Like to see your personality and see who yeah. you are. Yeah, totally. And yeah. then you get the other way around, where someone doesn't know who we are, but they like skateboarding, and then they're like, "I get this a lot," and they're like, "Dude, I didn't know your skate about oh your skating." God, and then yeah. I looked you up, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like I saw your what you did in the past, and I was like, "Oh wow, thanks!" So like they liked you I just because some, of the I did podcast. Some skating. Yeah, it's like it's it's. It it's goes yeah, weird how it works, right? Yeah. Yeah. But hey Chris, yo, yo, what oh. happened with the uh, the fan in uh, Paris at the Airbnb? Wait, say that. sorry one more time. What happened with the fan showing up at your Airbnb in Paris? Oh yeah, uh, this kid showed up. It was like he waited out there since like five a.m. and then we just he was at our door. And I like I was like filming and I looked out the window and there was this kid outside. He was like, hey. And I made, I was filming and then I was like, you want to come inside? And then he like hung out with us the whole time there. He was, yeah. wait, how did he know where you were? Uh, he saw some Instagram story, like the reflection of some window oh, or no. something. Oh, yeah. deep. I think he ditched school and he got in trouble, but like he came <laughs> with his friend at five in the morning and waited outside for like a long ass time. And you invited him in. Yeah, we made him. Uh, we made some sandwiches and some food. Made him food. <laughs> Amazing. And, we, and then we went and skated with them. No Actually, way. still still keep in contact. Really? With him a little That's, bit. Yeah. You're a nice ass dude. I know. <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna like scram, beat it, skedaddle. Yeah. Some yeah. Kid. Some of my he's like this is content. Like come on in. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Did you yeah. put him? You put him in the video and everything. Yeah, he's in the video. Wow. Yeah. And then we met up again on another Euro trip. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Some catch of my up. yeah. Some up. of my best friends that I've met are through like that you do yeah wow so cool <clears throat> that's amazing bro that's mm-hmm. amazing well i i love what you do and um i just keep doing it man put out more videos come on dude just get on this you know no, two months is too long yeah i do miss it i do miss it i do love it and i do miss it can right. we get a skincare video i actually did one already <laughs> did you I did. like on your own channel <laughs> yeah yeah there you go yeah mm. you're trying to get that skin skin care yeah. sponsorship again or I would, what i would love that second try second uh, yeah you like come back run. around please how do you do you have you you said you have somebody that uh tries to go to get uh, get these deals and stuff or yeah yeah some, ever some... since the adidas thing mm. um ever since that adidas getting kicked out yeah i've had the same a- ah. agency i've been passed on a few a few different agents but okay that was the game changer yeah so, I remember I met with this guy. This is so this is before like really making money, really. So I met with this guy and he was like, Yeah, try this agent out and if he doesn't make you this amount in the mm-hmm. year, then let him go. And if not, keep him. Wow. 
and it worked out and it turned out good yeah Ran. you know what dubs i'm so tempted to ask how much that number is <laughs> trillions <laughs> it's a lot man but uh wait, you just have one channel uh yeah one youtube channel mm. okay. thinking about starting a new channel though maybe what would that channel be i got a little little secret project Ooh, i've been thinking about okay mm. but skating related yeah mm. now that's also you know like probably people would ask why create another channel why if you're going to make content why not put it on your channel why to try to start something new and get those followers I subscribers i don't know actually i've made actually no i that's a lie i do have another i mean i have multiple youtube channels from childhood okay but, but i did actually release like a skate video on another channel um and that's out we only did one video as a one and done thing and so that was that project on just a completely different channel yeah yeah it's out but why why not put it on your channel um because i i think i i guess for branding purposes mm. i wanted it to be its own separate okay. entity got you yeah. got you yeah because yeah. uh it's interesting a lot of youtubers twitch they have like five six channels it's mm -hmm. all something else it's like Good Mythical Morning has their shows and they have like Good Mythical More and then this thing and then this and then gaming vlogs. Gaming, the vlog. Is a, I mean, we have what, three, three or four channels? You got three. three. We got three four channels. Four yourself. Yeah, I mean, my, whatever. But um, <laughs> yeah, we got Nine Club. We got highlights because we're a podcast. We take the highlights. Mm -hmm. It's a standard operating procedure. And then uh, we have, we just started this other uh, more Nine Club and we take like um, videos from like fans and stuff, you know, oh, shit. they'll do like a, I don't know. You ever heard of the Noin club? Not yet. No. Oh, God, it's oh so wow. Good. You'll like it's that so one. It's so good. It's good. It's just yeah. like random edited, edited moments from the show that just are like really awkward. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my, my guy. Jaime would be perfect for that, bro. Whoa. Oh yeah, he could. They could collab pretty good. Oh, in the dude, video, I it's feel like so yeah. good. Because he's always oh. sending me. He edits clips himself oh, does and he? send it to me. Yeah, Amazing. I gotta show you one right yeah, after this. Really oh yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of with this thing with YouTubers. I mean, they they're, they're multiple channels. You know, I've generally kept everything under one channel, which is probably bad, because mm, like you want to develop like a niche, I guess. Right. And I've done like. Yeah, you know, skate videos, vlogs. I, I did fucking science experiments and like spits. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah, I've, yeah, I've spread myself so thin. It, like you lose, like it's just developing different audiences. Sure, pranks, just throwing shit at the wall. Yeah, you know. But it's that's what's kept it fun too, though. Okay. Totally. Is what about YouTube burnout? Um, have you experienced that? Maybe a little bit, mm. but I don't. Like I said, keeping off the schedule has helped right. with that a lot. Right. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, what if, could we make a video with you? Like a skit? Hell yeah. Dude, I've been wanting to do like a skit thing for, I, for so fucking long. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly writes skits now. What I do not, I do not write skits, <laughs> but I think of stupid things that would be fun to do Great in skits. skits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we could talk. For sure. All right. <laughs> Just trying to get that axe deal. Has anyone ever put their legs <laughs> up on the table? Uh, they're my, they're, you want to put your feet up on the like table? ASAP Ferg. ASAP Ferg. Oh, yeah. ASAP oh, yeah. Ferg put his Adidas up on, his, on the table. Yeah. Oh, these are Adidas, too. Yeah, yeah there you go. Adidas. Those are dirty ass Adidas, though. I know. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's more in the lawn earlier. Some, they're old. Yeah, those are fucking. Could have brought some clean shoes. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Kelly, you're so hard. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they're dirty, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll clean my running shoes. Wow. Hey, I got a question, dude. Let's hear it. Who the fuck is Eddie Benjamin? You will hear. He's an very Australian soon. singer. Oh. Damn. Gosh. Oh, Roger just. Roger yeah, he just did it. Damn. Roger, he He's knows, on he it. He knows a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A lot sure of really random did. dumb knowledge. Uh, is that part of your clothing stuff? Uh, no, no, no. No. Okay. no. Just, just repping. Mm. Yeah. I always trip out when I go places and I see like virginity rocks. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, dude, this guy. <laughs> Fucking Danny Duncan. <laughs> he's got Virginia Rock shirts and then like I Love Hot Mom shirts on the same line. Dude, he's a man. The Empire. How much do you think that dude brings in? He posts about it. Yeah, he posts. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He said like he brought in a million in a month for merch or something. When oh, I've heard him say that. He yeah, posted yeah, it and yeah. I was like, dude, but that's just merch. Good for him. Like, that's fucking amazing. We used to have this joke. 
some we were doing some like prank video in public and he was talking to some like random lady and he was laughing coming back to me he's like i told that lady i made 600 grand a month as a joke because uh-huh. we're now we're making pennies at this time we're like that didn't even seem like possible <laughs> right. it was a joke right like we didn't i didn't even think rich people made that like at that time you know like i was just so naive to like how much money you could make sure. 600 grand a month Crazy. and then he texted me one day he's like yo i hit the joke number i was like Wow. Wow. like we we always said that 600 grand a month i was like i was like all oh, these like our joke you know that's so that's super dope. crazy yeah. Yeah. It. imagine it's really rad though when you see that but he's putting the money back in mm-hmm. and like you, having his friends go on trips with him mm-hmm. and it looks like he genuinely has fun totally. i mean all you guys doing the same thing to be honest because they're all having fun and he's creative with it that fucking little thing where he uh, had the uh the two liter of fucking soda and he has on the motorcycle. Oh, shit. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking bounced that thing and he fucking that ran and then caught, caught that it. thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, dude, I mean. That was cool. Well, I, I remember this. This is like three years ago. I was walking down the street here or skating and this white Tesla pulls up with horns on it. Mm-hmm. And I, you pop out of the, you're like, hey, Kelly, do a kickflip. And I was like, or a nollie flip or something. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, but I was just like, Whoa, Chris, and I didn't know what was going on with like the, the the horns, but I was just like, why the fuck do you have horns on your car? Self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, like he, he, did you have those or was his car? Oh, no, no, that's his car. So he drove that car. Yeah, yeah, that's well, his car. Why did he have the horns? Because he makes $600,000 a month. <laughs> and why he, not? And he yeah. do that. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, why not have horns, I guess. No, but it was so sick. I was just like, damn, that dude was like hustling to try to like be a physical trainer of some sort. Mm. And now he's driving a Tesla with horns on it. I yeah. It. He's fucking killing it. I love it, bro. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Amazing. So what's your special project you got working on? Um, Another channel? Yeah. Channel. Some skate video. Do some skate videos. Okay. Okay. Um, just, I don't know. Do something refreshing, you know? Mm. Do something refreshing. Something different. Yeah. And, you should do a uh, trick tip for a switch backside through sixty flip. Oh god, I'm not the guy, man. <laughs> oh, not... you! Every time I look at your Instagram, it's you doing it. You did it like at least once, like perfect. I tried it for like a year. <laughs> no, and then I did it, yeah. But it took a long ass time. Yeah, there was a whole like. I, it was fun to watch the progression, to be honest. Yeah, I was posting on my story, trying it every every time. It'll be like day one, day two, day three. I think it was like, yeah, it was so long. This is just on flat. Yeah, the funny. The weird thing is, I landed it like the first, uh, like the second or third day, mm-hmm. like in incom- like two ninety, like incomplete with a little, like I landed and tic tac. Okay, uh, but to get that last degrees, right? Of, of whatever fifty, I don't know whatever degrees took a year. Wow. Yeah, there's something about switch backside that's like difficult. Well, it's, like, it's not. It hasn't. Doesn't it? No one does it. There's yeah. a reason why. Certain few that do it, have, yeah. they have it great, and they like. There's a it. there's a select amount of people who are like genetically, are yeah. Capable. Not to, to take like like they're blessed, like totally. they can they just yeah. turn the switch backside. When you do it over a table, like I was mind oh, blown. Carlos, by that. dude, oh yeah. switch back three, yeah. and it was he did it kind of like it's like almost like somewhat late, but still I'm like all in all it's fucking he's doing it. He's not scooping it over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had to pop. He's fucking you know, popping, got to pop. Yeah. yeah, I always ask this question, like, why do you, like, with Switch, I thought, dude, I'm, like, obsessed in a weird way with Switch backside, because it's the rarest movement, mm-hmm. like, you only see a small percentage of skaters, it's a weakness for everyone. That's true. Now, I've thought about this for a while, do you guys think it's a cultural phenomenon, or is it a, like, biomechanical thing? Hmm. Like, is it is it rare because no one else does it? Like, if everyone else did it, would it be, like... Easier to learn. Can you well, you, this? you do you do see a lot more than you used to. Like right, are you talking exactly. about 360s? Yeah, Just, switch switch backside in general. Switch back yeah, to these, yeah. Be okay. I, I I personally think it's a tougher trick to learn. Like just to initially start the process. Mm-hmm. Front side 360, just kinda like So you think it's a biomechanical I think so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Interesting. But why would it be? It's just a like turning this way versus this way. Well you're kind of you're you're, you're, true. you're closed off to what's going on in front of you. Because if that argument's true, then you could just say, then then the the opposite movement would be just as hard, no? Or like regular backside three sixty, or like a so switch back three, mm-hmm. and then switch front three, or or, or 
or back three. Yeah, I guess. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. 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 Never even taking the time to look at that. I guess this. W- I watched people that backside through sixty, and they just found out that technique. And I don't know. I watched like Reynolds do a backside through sixty. He just under he. Just, but he's right. It's harder to do it switch. But like backside three sixty. But like yeah. why regular back three, front three. Mm-hmm. And then switch front three. They're all like pretty. Oh, okay. Everyone does all those. Right. Yeah. Why? Why the one switch? It feels it's, like it's, ran- it's, it feels it's randomized. Awkward. Got me foot. Yeah. I mean, it is super awkward. Really. At the end of the day. And those, yeah. I and guess those who unlock it, you can tell like, fuck, that works for you. You know what I mean? So yeah, the question is: Is it a social thing, learned thing mm-hmm. that we're just used to seeing it as a weakness, and it's hard for people, so we interpret it as a weak or that it's hard to learn or is it a biomechanical thing but because you learned regular backside through 61st and then switch front side through 61st it's biomechanically harder to turn that way or it could be a low hanging fruit thing you <coughs> learn the easy stuff first and then True. it's exactly you work yeah way up that's to what i'm stuff. thinking yeah so that one's the I, hardest and you learn it last so you have to work harder culturally though because yeah like if everyone learned switch back threes first it would be the other way around or whatever for sure well well there are know. tricks that were always the hardest and then now everyone can do them right yeah yeah but that trick kind of s- stays the same yeah not a lot of people can do that right yeah 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 it's like I've, i could probably still name a handful of people that do that trick or that have done it in mm-hmm. the video part switch back three yeah they it's like brian that. wedding yeah pj yeah. lad no. there you go um carlos hibeto carlos shamil randall uh p rod <laughs> oh shamil did that, that? Mm-hmm. what did he do that in down a little three at embarcadero oh, oh wow oh. Uh, P rod, and it tends to be yeah. like the kind of like ambidextrous type of skater. That's true. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P rod, he got those shits. I mean, it's just not a common trick. Yeah, I don't know. It's not. Hmm. I like to see it with a. Uh, I like that conversation. Yeah. I like that. That's a good one because that's you're speaking truth because that's definitely one of the harder tricks that you know people tend to learn last, if not at all. Did you? Yeah, you're not really learning through it. Switch back threes. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. A hey, plus, you know what? When you try something like that, you just, when you don't know what you're doing, you just feel like an asshole. Yeah. You know, like you just fling it, you're like, you just, dude, that, I don't even want to try My to board went over there, <laughs> I went over here. Yeah. It's horrible. That's how I felt for a year. Yeah, well, you were doing a kick, a, a switch kick flip in the middle of that. Yeah, so yeah, even worse. Even worse. Yeah. 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 So there, wait, did you learn to switch 360 first, or you just went right into that? Uh, no, I learned to switch back three first. Okay. But I, no, no, I went into it, and within that, learning it i'd also learn switch back three um yeah dude it made me go crazy yeah because a year think about like the longest i had ever tried a trick for my video part was like maybe 14 days for it was like a switch inward heel tail 270 heel okay wow but wait what did you say (laughs) switch inward heel tail switch 270 heel yeah that's yeah, the that, one that was in that his last video part. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? But switch back three flip took me a fucking year. Like, well, 52, 52 days of actual trying, but within the span of a year. And like my whole philosophy is like my whole philosophy and like the trick challenge thing in life is like if you work your ass off hard enough, you can do any like you can do anything, no matter what your weakness is or whatever. Totally. Like if you work if you work and you don't give up. So like seven or eight months in, I was like, like fuck, maybe maybe this one's just like you need genetics or something like maybe it's not just hard Started work questioning yeah. dude, it was right. like eight months Everything, in i was right. like are you kidding me i still haven't done this damn trick like dude i hear you on that shit god that would have drive but who else has and done I that could, trick i couldn't stop because i put out the stories like i'm day one day two yeah right. uh there's <laughs> yeah there's been some i know they have 365 <laughs> finally <laughs> could you who did uh who's done it um, I can't. I'm trying to think of my head. Shane O'Neill is done the, the gap did on them. Oh yeah, yeah. The Melbourne, Melbourne gap. Mm. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> wait, there's somebody else that's in that. Yes, I'm sure people, there is. for sure. Like on a hip and something like that. Mike Bone, sure. over hips for sure. Because yeah. you don't have to no, go down around some full stairs. 60. Down some stairs. I'm trying oh to think. no, that was uh, Zach Allen did it regular really good. The other I've day. seen people. Yeah, yeah, I've seen people do it on flat. Because mm. as I was learning it, like there was a, there were some people tagging me. And, like, oh, was, different stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was like, shit. Who damn. wrote the book? Um, a skater just Walker wrote a book. Ryan. Walker Ryan didn't he? Do oh, the Walker book? can do that. He does oh, it really. Yeah, sure. he, Walker yes. can do that yeah. for sure. True. Oh yeah, I talked to him. I was asking him for advice, and he gave me advice. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's really good at. That he didn't like on a line. I was like, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it was like a bump he did off in like a Thailand, I think. Yeah, ah, he's off a bump though. No, but he, no, it was a bump. No, but he it did it off it, something. He did it in a line though. He yeah. sent the clip to me. Mm. Oh, I saw it. I like questions Shout like that's out. a good question. That is, 
Very yeah. thought provoking. I guess yeah. I was trying to do it. I guess I could have done it with like a revert or something, but I, I was trying it for so long. I was like, I might as well make it like full, like all the way around. What nope. kind of ground was it though? This is a very important question. Was um, it smooth? Was I did it like one a marble ground where you could slide a little bit. The first one I did was on barrack slippery ground. Perfect. But I didn't post that one because of that. <laughs> Just because of the little slide. <laughs> no, Sometimes it's little slides. Because I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get no. I was like, I'm gonna get comments about mm. it being slippery ground. Right. Right. So then I did again on asphalt, and then that was the first one I posted. Mm, okay. Yeah. Black asphalt. Yeah, yeah. Which is asphalt. First of all, the slipperiness is out of your control. You you still did it on a slippery right. ground. I right. choose right. where to skate though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Damn. That's true. The 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 smooth black asphalt is like one of the best flat grounds. I ever. love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so true. good. And it looks cool too. It sounds yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other tricks that took you a year? <sighs> Not a year. Just what about uh, getting do, on the nightclub? <laughs> <laughs> That was your More choice, dude. That was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> what about the... I saw the video of you skating a flat bar over the LA River. Yeah. I've seen that. Um, yeah. A, that looked gnarly. Did you go to the doctor after that yeah, one? Yeah, little bugs and shit. Yeah, because that was really kind of crazy. <laughs> no, yeah, I got a lot of comments about that. Like, <laughs> like diseases and that's stuff. Gnar that's not a clean river. Yeah, it was pretty gross. Those There were... There were Lots of little insects and bugs on me after that. Damn, that's like crazy. It, it, right at like I, because I like just for, I wanted to do one a bell for the video where I just like fall and I just get dragged down the river river the river. You actually oh, fell on disgusting. purpose. Oh. No, but I wanted to. I was falling a lot either way. Okay. And on one of the falls, I wanted to get dragged by the river, mm. and I was like, my ass was dragging on the river floor. Ugh. And I guess I picked up a bunch of bugs, and they were like yeah. all little. They were cr like literally yeah. crawling oh, on you. Yeah. Or There's like no way they could just me. chill, like like with dude. that being seen, and like just be like, okay, dudes, where are we doing? No, this? yeah, like, I did. Fuck that, I'm taking this shit off. I took all my clothes off. I took the bugs off, and then I put the clothes back on. Jeez. I went back. And, they were they were inside the clothes too, on the outside, but also like in, in the crevices. Yeah, like, that's what you gotta really shake that shit down. Turn it yeah. inside you out. You don't know what kind of bugs they were. Uh, Rita, Rita someone creepy. commented. I looked it up at some point, but they were safe. Okay, they were just trying to find a new home. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was disgusting. So you, in that video, I think I did the board slide first try or se okay. first or second try. I was like, wow, that's anticlimactic. So then I did a bunch of bells and I put that and I built it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He did it first. You're so did. good. The magic yeah. of, right, sorry, no, the magic of editing. Dude, storytelling, dude. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. boring. For yeah. sure, for sure. And then I thought, oh, I'm never going to. I was falling in the in the in the river and it was like, oh, this is disgusting. And I thought, I don't ever want to skate this thing again. Like it was when it would splash in my face. Oh. I'm like, oh god, this is gross. So, I was like, I'm just gonna knock out all the tricks I can do while I'm here okay. and never do this again, never come back again. Did you go and measure it and build a flat bar specifically for that? Yeah. 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 Huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, what tricks did you do? You did uh, feeble. Um, did, no, and no, I tried feeble like a hundred tries. Really? Like, that feeble would be like a go to. Dude, you can slip it out. Like the girthiness of that rail. Oh, just like perfect, you it's like a bigger rail. Something that it would slip out. I tried so hard. Yeah, to feeble, feeble seems like the go to. I know. For it's like rail. feebles Walk are usually in. chill. Well, dude, yeah. up there, yeah. Your board's somewhat wet. Well, it's waxed up. Dude, that sucked. Yeah, yeah it's My like shoes. Wet. Yeah. This, oh yeah. Everything. I didn't bring extra anything. I'm an idiot. When I saw Should you trying the feeble, I was like, "Oh, I, I could." There's that's going to be impossible almost. Yeah, to stay feeble. locked in on that type of rail with what the scenario is. So you yeah, needed, I didn't know that you needed yeah. a bigger rail because it was long. Uh, no, that's just what the the guy I was working with had. Really? Was there <laughs> yeah, a center yeah, point wanna, in like, the rail too, like that went in uh, the river? Actually, I don't think so. Or was that's it just from, from end to end? No, no, yeah, end to end. Okay, yeah, mm. but so it, was, it probably uh, had to have been you a, need that thick. You need it, yeah. 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 Oh, going to right. be a middle thing. That, right, but you don't know how deep that fucking water is or whatever. Yeah. True, yeah, yeah. 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 it's very yeah. scientific. Yeah. So what did you do? <laughs> did you get into it? Wait, did you front board it too? Yeah, that was yeah, the hardest. That, that, yeah. Yeah, that was the hardest trick. Yeah, God, that took that one took a long ass time. I ate shit so many times on that. Jeez, but yeah, fifty fifty, front both fifty fifties, front board, back board, and then crook. Crook, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. How long were you guys down there filming? That was a while. Wow. No, yeah, like three or four really? hours. Yeah, because I would I would try to like dry my shit off and it oh. wasn't drying, but 
Yeah. yeah. And then fetching the board every time it fell in, too. Ugh. Was it really going down the river pretty? Yeah, I had to get it every time. It <laughs> sucked <laughs> ass. So you fall in, got to get out, get the fucking board, yeah. You probably yeah. smelled like ass after, too, bro. I did. <laughs> I did. How did you get the rail down there? Uh, did it come in pieces, or...? I don't remember. No, yeah, a little bit, but it was a big ass heavy piece that yeah. we had to like. We just threw it down there, basically. What, 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 did you throw it on top of the Tesla? I don't understand. <laughs> did you rent a uh, truck? No, yeah, our friend had a truck. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he he had it all figured. He was a smart fellow. Because it, 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 it's, it's it's pretty long. I think it's yeah, big, it's pretty big. No yeah. So we just we were on top at some point. We just dropped it. It was like the loudest. That was kind of cool, actually. That was pretty sick. Just dropping that big ass Jeez. pole. <laughs> the inner child Watch in me. Out below. And you were the only person skating it. Yeah. Which kind of, you know. Yeah. I like skating with people. I would have preferred that. Yeah, right. for sure. <laughs> no one wanted to do that. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. If you had to do a trick, what would you do? What would you try? Board slides are out. I was tripping that you did a 50-50, to be honest. Because that, that, to me, is the scariest trick on a round rail. Because I'm, like, not the flat bar skater. Same. Right. I, I would have gone for feeble, but on that rail, I knew it wouldn't have worked. Switch back tail? Yeah, switch back tail. Oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, back perfect. Back when it thank you 5 Yeah, back when oh, 5 Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, hard flip back tail. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah hard flip back tail. Trick. Right. No, honestly, I probably, I probably would have gone for either a board slide or front board. Mm -hmm. you know what That's I mean? it. No, nothing... Nothing else. If you had to want to to escape that scenario, yes, I would choose one of those two. Yeah, because I would not want to try to like front crook it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Please yes. do that. Like, <laughs> I would oh love to see that. Like, <laughs> front crook. Or people, the people were tripping and you skating that shit, right? Like driving by. Uh, there was uh, you couldn't really there were, you couldn't really see, see anyone. Yeah. Well, I saw deserted. there was one try of you you fell and someone honked really loud. Unless you just edited that in. <laughs> I don't remember, honestly. Yeah. I don't remember at all. Hmm. Maybe. What are, what are some other s weird skits you did that, that you really enjoyed? Um, the Jimmy Fallon one was one of my favorites. That's um, rush. I mean, we did a skit. Uh, so that was like we called that season two just because we were changing the style of content, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've had like different seasons of content. And then season three was like more of a house group of friends kind of content okay moving into a new house with a group of friends was super fun mm. that's when i moved to costa mesa oh costa mesa um and then we had one bit where we we're like how are we going to top season two like because we had casey neistat and jimmy fallon we we're like well we're we gonna like get a get a huge house like and then like what am i gonna have to like paint my car gold or something and then it like cuts to the fucking gold like a gold car what <laughs> you what car what, what kind of car was it uh, uh the, tesla. the tesla yeah yeah you painted the Tesla gold? Yeah, for this, for that bit. Did yeah. you get it wrapped or was it? Yeah, yeah, okay. just got it wrapped, okay. and then we had some guy that helped us. Like we we worked, we worked with a wrap company. Yeah, Do you still have the Tesla? Fun. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's yeah. fucking cool, man. So which one did he get you? The, the dual, Model Three. I was gonna ask. Mm -hmm. The nice. dual motor. Model Three. Yeah, I yeah. That's why I do. They're so good. Kelly's contemplating on getting one. Yeah, I was telling Chris, and I, it was. I was I was a little thrown off when I test drove it the other day. I was like, the braking. Yeah, I, I felt like I was driving a golf cart. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, not like the actual yeah, like yeah. inside it's of it different. felt nice. The way it drove, I was like, I didn't real because I've been driving a gas car, you know, going back and forth on the gas pedals yeah. in, the, in the brake. Now I'm just like, you take it off, it just stops. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't need it. There's a, different like levels. Oh wait, does a golf too. cart do that? I, that's what it felt like. I okay. You know what I mean? It was what I, I could. I could have driven the whole time. I was going, like it loses oh, momentum quickly. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's levels. I had to get, you could do the one where it, it flows like very like streamlined, where like a normal car, and then you could get where it like actually the slows down, mm -hmm. like gnarlier. Than you can take yeah, it off. You know yeah, you can take right, it off. But right, right. when I yeah, I was definitely getting used to that in the beginning mm -hmm. took about a week to get used to that yeah, yeah. once you're you once you start judging like oh there's a car up there you just let your foot off at a certain point you just come right up to the back of it you know yeah no it's nice it's like safe for you know you just ease off the gas but, oh yeah because if you're getting into an accident it'll break sooner than you would have if you didn't have that on right sure. right yeah sometimes this freaks you out though it'd be like trying to like stop like not thinking you're gonna stop oh and yeah. it'll just be like Ur! and you'll be like oh fuck okay like, mm -hmm. it, it's it's prepared <laughs> Dude, all three That's the Tesla table over there yeah, You guys all have Teslas One of the safest cars on the road yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love it You should get a Tesla deal, dude Just, Oh dude, I love that Damn, man Levels to this shit Right there, you get a Tesla deal 
people are going to be Put like, some horns on the front or some <laughs> axe. Put an axe logo in the front. And freak out. Get it all at once. <laughs> yeah. The, that's a good skit. Just doing the ultimate sellout brand deal. There you go. McDonald's. Yeah. Monster. Everything Red on Bull. it. Let's put a Pizza Hut logo on the side and like a... It's fucking NASCAR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah they do that a big Tide logo on the, on the hood. Advil. Um, yeah. I don't know. Taco I gotta battle. think. What's the dream sellout sponsor? I feel like it has to be a food sponsor, because that is the most consistent thing in our life. Eat yeah. Food, huh? But you'll get over that shit after a while, right? <laughs> Eating the same thing. I mean, yeah. like a, a cheesecake factory. Oh yeah. You, you got, got fucking options. options. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of options. You got options. They got cheesecake yeah. Factors. Their or menu is like a telephone book. So, soup plantation. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they're not Sizzler. around anymore. Sizzler. <laughs> Sizzler. Are they? Are Sizzler even around? <laughs> you know what? I've I seen see them. They're, they're, yeah? they're creeping. They're about to be gone. There's though. a few. I thought you were going to say they're having to come back. <laughs> that would be amazing. I, I don't think that's going to be happening. I've seen them leave more so than staying around. Well, when they sponsor Chris Chan, it's like back to the top again. You know hey. what I'm saying? Applebee's. There Ooh. it is. Is there an Applebee's around here? Ooh, Applebee's. Selective areas. There has to be. I don't. TGI Fridays? That shit's Those gonna, shits are gone though, too. Yeah. Chili's. Yeah. What's a, it's that steakhouse? Not Outback. Houston's. Outback. Outback. Oh yeah. Mm. Ooh. I kind of I kind I fuck with Outback. Outback's good. Yeah. Mm. Yard House. Fuck with Yard House. Uh, that would be my. That would be mine. Yard yeah. House. We talked about a dream sponsor not that long ago on Ho experience. hotels and airlines. Bro. That would be right. I mean, that wow. sounds great to me. Resort, I'd just be like, you have resorts all over. Which one am yeah, I going I'll to? I'll post a year? Snapchat story. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Stay for a couple months. <laughs> Expedia.com. Wait, do you have you do? Do you Snapchat a lot still? Uh, no. Yeah, no, I don't I have know it. either. I have it, but I haven't used it. Oh. Twitter. I have it, but don't yeah, use it. Yeah. Yeah. Use yeah. yeah. I don't got anything. Smart YouTube's uh, YouTube's YouTube shit. and Instagram. I love it. I love it. What it's advice TikTok. if somebody, you know, skater out there wants to start a YouTube channel? Is there any advice you want to give him or um what would you what would you tell little Johnny if he was sitting here? It's a tough one cuz there's so <laughs> many oh, yeah. different things. I can go about uh, yeah, there's YouTube. like business advice and then there's like personal i yeah. guess advice but i'm mean, on a personal level i mean first yeah you gotta love it you gotta pick something that you love right because that's what's going to get you furthest long term sure uh, and the burnout happens because it's basically you're just doing what you don't want to do yeah which when it's like you know, it's a classic problem that's been around for hundreds of years like an artist who gets good enough to sell their art and then their art becomes a business and then it's backwards yeah sure right. yeah. sure, sure um but yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, do it with yeah, do it, find find a group of friends to do it. Working with friends is like the biggest right. gift, ever, like the greatest joy in Straight life. Up. If I could give any advice, is if you can figure out a way to work with your friends. Yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. Have, well, see, how do you do? How do you? How, how would one person deal with that though? Because like, <clears throat> if this person has a YouTube channel and then you want to work with your friends, like, are you? Do you split the profits? Do you are is it your channel and do you pay people like how? You know what I mean? Could yeah, become a, no, it could it's, become it's, a very um, you know a little tricky. Yeah, tricky no, thing. yeah. When I first it seems like got you're into the business, it. you know what I mean. Right. At the end of the day, that people are helping you along this path. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. There's so many like nuances that I had to f figure. I'm sure you guys too. Like, mm -hmm. how does taxes work with this new thing? Um, like, totally important. I don't know how much the pay like editor or filmer or whatever right. you, know, you have to ask around and figure it out yeah and was there anyone in the youtube world that helped you at any like at some point with uh that? no yeah for sure yeah um uh because i had watched like all the youtube skaters when i started you know like yeah. andy and aaron and josh um so they all yeah they all helped me a lot actually hmm. oh yeah, so you reach advice. out to them and they kind of um I don't know. I don't forget who reached out to who, but it happened somehow. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure I did reach out at some point. Yeah, yeah. Andy yeah. Schrock. We gotta get him on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would yeah. be a fascinating conversation. You know, <clears throat> yeah, because he's built this like empire over there with Revive and mm -hmm. all through YouTube. Yeah, all through YouTube. It's crazy. Yeah, I remember I wanted to get into it, and I talked to talked to Aaron, and we got like breakfast, and mm. he was like, "All right, if you." Yeah, I, I were texting and he was like, if you want, uh, he's like, come meet for breakfast and I'll help you figure out the, the 
figure out help you figure out your YouTube career. And right. I just like asked him a shit ton of questions. Wow. There. Oh, so Aaron helped out a lot with that. Uh, yeah, I just I had breakfast with him and I asked him like a million questions. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You had someone to go to. But we had uh, ex Benedict. Oh, you did. <laughs> where, from yeah. where? So it was at the hotel we were staying at. Yeah, oh, nice. Paid for breakfast. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Breakfast on him. Huh? <clears throat> Yeah, no, it's it's super interesting. I love the I love the YouTube world. I think it's a great universe to live in. I think there's um I don't know, man. It's just it's a whole different world, you know. And I think there's a there's a huge like population that lives on there, you know? Yeah. So especially for skateboarders. Sure. Like I think I would say it all the time. Like people need YouTube channels, you know, you could put your footage on there. You could do Mm -hmm. just whatever. It is a lot of work. It's another job, you know, but, um, a lot of opportunities. seems like a good community of people though, too. For sure. I mean, mean, if you could just call somebody up on like, and not really know them that well, just by based on knowing them through YouTube and they're very receptive, like, yeah, bro, come sit down. I'll definitely help you out. Yeah. Cause if, I mean, yeah. When you, I mean, when you watch someone, it feels like, it feels like you know them already. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, it's like easy. I feel like I know you guys. Sure. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But also do the same thing. It's like any YouTube personality, any YouTuber has gone through the same problems. So it's almost like you could talk to somebody and relate to them Definitely. on how, you know, it's like you can't, like talking to somebody about YouTube, it's like, oh God, okay. It's like telling, trying to explain to people like how skateboarding works. Where mm-hmm. You got to take photos, you got to do magazines, you got to go on tours, yeah. you know, it's like, it, well, that's amazing. Like yeah. we had, sometimes there were skaters like that in our life, mm-hmm. you know, so you had the same thing. It's just in a little, it kind of a different route, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Talking about your YouTube problems to someone. I don't want to hear about your YouTube problems. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Yeah. Crying in this fucking river. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. it's a territory, man. It's yeah. a whole thing, bro. And you've you've done it, bro. Yeah, you've bro. done it and you're doing it. I love it. Definitely, bro. Yeah. Something to be proud of, man. Yes. Even though there's there's people that have their extra little noise they talk at the end of the day, bro. Live your shit. And I'm sure you're you know, obviously doing just that, bro. Yeah. I think it's cool that you've shown your talent and your personality together yeah. and you have a platforms to do it. And I think that's what's awesome. And I think at the same time too, we've also talked about, it's like you love skateboarding. You, you know, made sponsor me videos and everything. And yet you've kept up with, you've done all this on your own. You know what I mean? Like you've kept skateboarding and just, you've been just doing it and haven't had to, kind of get a real job so to speak you know what i mean you haven't had to work at you know an office or no been, yeah it's the craziest doing craziest, it on your own craziest thing yeah love it i love yeah. it so. Let me, I, i'm gonna ask a question it might be i don't know if it's uncomfortable or not but it's like you got you wrote for some companies like uh element and um you said uh cliche and stuff like that you never really like on the skate team did you ever feel but you were pulling your weight over here. Did you ever feel like left out in some weird way? Like you wanted to be a part of the skate team, but you nothing really worked out. Can I can I <laughs> piggyback on that? Yeah, yeah. Because at the time, I think you were riding for Element. Mm-hmm. The Element video came out. Um, what was the last Element video that came out? Oh, we man. went to the premiere. Peace. Peace. Okay. Yeah. And like you didn't have a part in that, and I'm like, well, Chris Chan doesn't Chris Chan ride for Element? Like, what's mm-hmm. going on there? No, yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I just felt like I got it. I I get it. You know what I mean? Like the the separation. So I didn't. I think I went on one, like, um, tri- not trip, but like a playground play play uh, elementary school yard session skate spot session. Oh, okay you skate a spot with him yeah, okay. yeah 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 and um I, I yeah i mean i could definitely feel like i don't i mean i don't know i felt a little awkward i guess maybe and i was i was uncomfortable i felt like huh like i definitely feel like i i don't want to be forced into right. this you know situation yeah. yeah forced in this situation like i get it. it's like two two different things you know and i i never felt like i deserve to be on like a team so i just kept it separate yeah yeah and that's an interesting thing too is like why why is it separate i mean it's 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 turning another page right now you know but um 
why not? Why well, why is it? It just not takes like time, that? dude, for things to like really surface, especially with skateboarding. Every, skateboarders are just so built in their ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, if you want to get on a team, you have to really go out and skate with them and really click. That's totally. anything. No, yeah. For sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Sure. That's yeah. just the way it is. But it's interesting because you have the knowledge of both sides. You know what what skate world and you know the youtube world yeah yeah. like, it's like you, you that, could yeah. almost help them yeah well that's with, what with, I like was content thinking. yeah you know that's but, why like, big, a, that's like why an big, element that's or why somebody. the big dogs were trying to ask him like hey we need your help exactly right. that's why like the dudes up top were seeing what he's doing and like don brown's like yo chris chan that dude really he's awesome and he gets it and he's cr- like i think um like the new generation, man, you got to yeah. create a new way of doing things. <clears throat> no, but I've I've definitely felt there's always been like this awkward in between for mm-hmm. sure, yeah. awkward in between. Right. But I think at that time, I wasn't pursuing skating anymore. I, I was pursuing skating as a creative art for myself to get as be- as good as I could. Got you. But at that time, I was doing okay for myself, like financially, mm-hmm. and I was doing YouTube, and I had those pursuits as well. Right. Yeah. Um, but when I was younger, yeah, I would have loved, I would have been so yeah. stoked to, like, go meet the team and do whatever. And everything. By that time, I, I get that this is, like, a weird situation. Like, you're bringing this kid who does YouTube. Like, he's getting views, and that's kind of why you're sending him boards, and he's okay at skating. And it, I, I, I get it. Yeah. More no, than okay. I get no, it. You're I get definitely. it. Phenomenal yeah. okay. skateboarder, bro. So, thank you. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I don't want to come, come off as like fake humble again. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, God damn it. no I'm, I know I'm fucking good. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I get no, but it. I, I yeah. you, that was dope. That was, I, I, think, <laughs> I, I love that type of shit. Yeah. Yeah. You bring that shit up again. Yeah. You're coming off as fake humble. <laughs> But I think you could have fit in perfectly with with a lot of teams. I'm better now. than everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's going in the, the edit for Roger for, yeah. for sure. Uh, <laughs> no, but I think you would have fit in just fine with a lot of different teams. You know, like with a cliche or you know a lot of these Definitely. companies that we were talking. Just takes about, you to jump sure. in the van, bro. Jump in the van for yeah. a week. I mean, I think you could get a really uh, understanding of somebody with, in, in a week span of traveling with yeah. them. I mean, at that time, I was definitely way more insecure about the whole thing because that's when I just, that's when the whole thing was just developing about, you know, YouTube is, not that YouTube is uncool, but like, you know, because it's not the platform. Obviously, just that alternative. Well, it's funny. There's cool people on the platform that I love and it's just like the culture that's just how it's developed. Right. No, but like, you know, your your YouTube fans, if you would have gotten sponsored by Element and did what they wanted you to do and film a video part, it wouldn't have... You would have been better off doing the YouTube stuff, like you wouldn't have you wouldn't you would have taken work away from YouTube and put it into skating. Uh, no, yeah, Does I was, that make I was, sense? No, yeah, that's what I want. I loved YouTube and I wanted to take those creative ventures that way and then mm-hmm. just skate for f- complete fun, which is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was awesome. I don't know. Like <laughs> you said, it was awkward to go skate with these guys, and I'm like, well, that's why I was like, what? Just do your own thing. Yeah, that's why I always say <clears throat> for someone. If you're not writing for someone else, then why don't you, I mean, you have the power to start your own company or your own merch or whatever. I'm like, do that. You don't have to go skate yeah. with people you don't know. Yeah. Well, he created yeah. his own path. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And um, what's interesting is like, as we get older as skaters, a lot of a lot of skaters, you know, they retire from skateboarding and then they skate better than they were skating before because yeah. all that pressure is off no, their that's shoulders. That's exactly how I feel. So yeah. And yeah. you just created your own path. You were doing your YouTube thing, still skating, having a great time, and there was no pressure there. It was like, dude, I could just skate, could go beat Chris Cole in a game of skate. I could, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you you released that pressure. You released that pressure from the very Dang. beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like, a I, lot of people <clears throat> wait till the end of their career to release that pressure. Oh, yeah. Because it's a lot of pressure to, yeah. to skate for. It's kept me loving it. It, like to the full capacity the totally. entire way and, that's awesome and i think i'm better at skating because of that i, I mean, do like well yeah well, exactly sense. what you just said yeah, yeah. no makes it's sense. so true it's interesting <clears throat> and to go back to what you were, you were saying you know like the when i was taken out on you know on the playground session i don't think that anyone any team or anything has like it's not like they should have even like took me in or anything you know it's just like it's creative difference yeah it's fine like there's people i wouldn't want to work with creatively it's fine like, sure yeah you know sure. just yeah sometimes it's just not gonna work out yeah at least you tried right right well i mean it was it was the thing that just happened it wasn't yeah like, not like you tried in the sense yeah, yeah. it just <laughs> organically happened yeah, yeah 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 
I love it, man. I love it. I love, uh, you know, creating your own destiny, creating your own path. I, I think it's great, you know. You but also the, being good a, at it. Yeah. 100%. That's what you've done. 100%. You've created your own path and you've done it well and it's it's fun to watch. So thank, thank you for doing that. Yeah, bro. Well, thank you. <laughs> man. I mean, to, dude, like I said, you're a talented, talented human being, bro. And that's why people want to watch you, you know? That's why you need to put out videos a little bit more often. You know Get on that posting schedule, huh? Get on that post. Like, let's do let's do twice a week. Twice a week? <laughs> Damn. Dude, like, dude I, I feel like you're such a creative, funny dude. Like, the, the funny skits are something, I think, that kind of, like... Uh, He's trying I, to get that axe deal again here, but dude, <laughs> trying to get that skincare deal. Yeah, skincare deal. I mean, you're talking about like Jimmy Fallon. You kind of remind me of something like Jimmy Fallon for some <clears> weird way. I don't know. You're a funny dude. You like making funny skits. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of yeah. We just doc you know, outside of the skits, just documenting like reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just I mean, here like we're having laughing. Just so much humor and just reality In and everyday life. I'm surprised so. you didn't bring a filmer to film this. <laughs> I was going to. I didn't know how you guys felt about it. I don't want to like <laughs> intrude on your space. We people, welcome it. You know? People have done it we many times. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not many times, but you know, people. Mike bring, V kind of did, did it. Mike V he brought sure. his little vlog in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And that's cool too to see. You know, I mean, you got Mike Vallely. He's doing a vlog now. You know. Oh shit! Really? It's really cool. Damn, you know, but he's also cool. doing it with his, his daughter as well. But right. um, I think it's I, I think it's awesome. Damn, that's so cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Do you feel like the, that's a big thing to do in YouTube is to like collaborate with other YouTubers? Um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't do it enough, but yeah, that's how you get new audiences yeah, and it's yeah. fun. It seems like it. I really wish I was thinking about this today. So I wish skateboarding had more podcasts, and I know it's really, ha- it's really hard to do one, and it doesn't really fit into our lifestyle too often, you know, or too much really at all. But I wish it was like the in comedians have so many podcasts because that really works with what they do sure yeah. talking and yeah talking and being yeah. funny and re- just going like but that they can promote and shows too right. they promote shows and i really wish there was more a better way f- or I mean, I easier guess, way too to for us skateboarders to have more, i guess wish yeah, there was do you guys pod- know the other uh what? skate podcasters is there like a little There's community? There's more skate podcasters? <laughs> what? I mean, it's got to be summer out there. Never. What? This is you guys crazy like a little talk. community? There's, no. yeah, there, I mean, uh, there's the bunt. There's the bunt. Tony they, Hawk has his little thing yeah. now with um, with Jason Ellis. There's, a, there's, a, there's a, a, a bunch more out there. Listen, we weren't the first and we won't be the last, right? I think yeah. when podcasting came around and we started this show, we kind of took it and ran with it, you know, and ran with the idea. Um, you guys have like monopolized like you guys are the like the shit I mean in we the, in, the, in this area yeah, yeah you guys are it we, that's a sick I mean we appreciate <laughs> that you. Um, you know as long as people still watch the show and enjoy it it will keep doing it you know but um, yeah when we were first starting there, we, we had nobody to talk to wait yeah did it also feel like wait why isn't there's no competition same thing or I mean, maybe a little bit, but again, we had nobody to bounce ideas off of. Like, we had nobody to be like, well, hey, how did you get that brand deal? Like, how did you, mm-hmm. okay, podcast, how did you, oh, you do a podcast read and you get the product and, oh, okay, like we had uh, nobody. Oh, yeah. And we, so we had to do all that stuff. Right. Since then, people have started podcasts and, you know, we, we help them, yeah. you know, it's like, hey, you do this, do that. Hey, here's some equipment. Here's some like cheap shit you could get or whatever. So you pave the way and then now you're helping yeah. the little guys. I mean, it's <laughs> nice because we but they do it for like a month and then they're gone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's well, a that's, tough. Yeah, I think that's the bunt. I, 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 A, they're rad dudes, but I really applaud them too because they've kept it going well, pretty we, much we, just as long as they have. Because we, we, we know how hard it is to do this. Yes, And exactly. so, like, if a, if a, the bun can keep going, it's like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, I know. Like, when they had their 100th, I left them an Instagram comment. Like, dude, fuck yeah. You know, because, like, I, that's hard. It's yeah. not easy to be It is not definitely. easy to get... Uh, to a hundred episodes. Are they yeah. once a week? Are they doing it once a week? Or are they doing they do it? seasons. They do seasons. seasons. Yeah. 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 Scheduling. You got to schedule four, five, well, four or five of you. I mean, this is why I, I, cause I asked about YouTube burnout, you know, and like I get burnt out doing this show cause mm-hmm. we're constantly, I mean, we film maybe two, three, four times a week sometimes, yeah. you know, and it's just like it's all, sitting here talking and like listening intently, thinking about other things to say. It, it's, it's draining for me i bet it's draining yeah he's the yeah. the the host 
and he's like making he's the quarterback and he's doing all the Colin shit Hancock too all the plays like. yeah like and, and, and like it's sometimes i don't know what sometimes my little play is it's foggy like i don't know what i'm doing sometimes el capitan you know? yeah no. and roger i mean like Drives me and Jer- a lot of pressure yeah me and jaron I mean, we leave and this show's kind of not out of our mind mm-hmm. but we go home to our other things these guys are like all right cool i'm gonna go edit this i'm gonna go do this i'm gonna upload that i'm gonna get this together i'm gonna in it's non-stop it's non-stop and because I, this is their livelihood yeah the right day. for sure look this is not our livelihood we come in you know and we do our work i love what i do here and yes. i'm very thankful to be a part of it but dude i i big up fucking roger and chris all day i was talking about that shit in nashville i'm like bro this show is no joke to the point of like they're they're many tasking so and multitasking so many different things it's like i don't even know if i could do some shit like that we like doing it yeah and it's the passion that's why it's fucking working like you were saying earlier man and the burnout is real you know it's 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 <laughs> tough it'd be like that with anything it's tough no for sure for sure and i think sometimes you probably maybe experience this too you do the same thing listen different guests but you kind of do the same thing over and over and over again in my mind sometimes it becomes a little stale you mm-hmm. know and it's like fuck i need something in this nine club universe that's different from what we're doing right now that's you know? ex- whether it be behind the scenes or something we go film out in the wild or even this podcast thing that me and roger are doing we're like revamping our audio stuff and mm-hmm. like i'm like cool it's a little project for me like new. i like it it's something new new, new you yeah. know and i'm sure that's important to re reinv- keep reinvent yeah i think because like I said before, that's doing the skate stuff on YouTube. All right, I gotta get. I fill three minutes of five O crook out of whatever, like all the yeah, ba- all yeah, the yeah, basic yeah. tricks I can do in different ways or whatever. That felt like oh, I'm just tired of doing that, so I stopped. Right for that reason, and um, yeah, and then and then that's that's why I've done so many different things, which is not good business wise, but creatively, it's been fun. Oh yeah, but man. reinventing, you know, reinventing. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's definitely a tough thing, especially man. Like I said, YouTube is it's a it's a it's a tough business, you know. It was but it's funny. But it seems like you're having fun doing it, which yeah. is amazing. It's funny, like when you reinvent yourself, almost, but you you don't know that you're doing it. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why I felt like I feel like that's been my whole life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. St- Go in the nine club now. That's what I want to do. It just happened for you. Like yeah, it just yeah. happened. Like oh yeah, I thought I I quit to. Well, I don't want to talk about myself, but I feel like that's what happens in people's life. They, and there's also calculated <laughs> yeah, reinventions. There is that yeah for sure. Yeah. You know, like we've we've reinvented this show a few times. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. not reinvented, but changed kind of little nuances of it, and we're yeah. just we're trying to make improvements. Yeah, yeah. little Everywhere improvements here, yeah. and you know stuff because it's like like I said, sometimes it gets a little stale. Yeah, you know, and you're just like, cool, like, mm. yeah, that's that's part of the, the game because it's it's also scary making changes because your viewers could be like, oh wait, this is whack. I'm used right. to. It. I want this thing that you give me every time, exactly. and you change it. So it's scary. So it is. it's like, For sure. and you're getting instant <clears throat> feedback. Yeah, from people. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, listen. Sometimes it's like, okay, cool. Like, I want to hear about how Mike Valley got his first board and his first little sponsor, and I, w- I want to hear that little. You know, but some guests, I, I really, I, I don't, I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, well, I don't care. Like, how- <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I love that. What I'm, but you're laughing. But what I'm saying is, like, I think there's more interesting things to talk about right. than like, oh, your first board was a, blah blah blah. Oh, oh yeah. you got that for Christmas, dude. Oh, I completely. Amazing. I should have said something in the beginning. I was like, let's get into it. You know. Right. Well, that's what I tried to do. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But well, you I, tried, you like, went for, right to YouTube. I know. I love because I get it. You I know? want to talk yeah. about stuff. Yeah, as a, as a content. You want creator. to go to the juicy stuff. Right? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. was your first board? My first skateboard. Yeah. Uh, it was a, well, it was a fake board, and then um, after that, it was New York. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well. A fake board, and then an X Games board, and then a New York. Mm. Stages. Yeah. Okay. You you know, back in the day, I actually, I mean, that wasn't that long ago because you're like 20, 25? 29. 29. But New York wasn't out around this zone too much back then. Uh, it was big East Coast. It was big mm-hmm. East Coast thing. I and mean, I fucked with New York super hard, but you never saw it. Where did you, yeah. did you have a skate shop? No, YouTube? my uncle got it from me from New York. Oh, oh yeah. sick. That's what Dope. it was. Yeah. And also, we're at the end of this whole thing. But like, was there a skate shop you went to growing up? Uh, yeah, it was like the the borders in Glendale. Since I was like a little kid, still there. Actually. Oh, sick! Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but I had like my also I had that and then the and then uh, Brooklyn Projects was like another one maintain. Nice. Mm. Brooklyn Projects was sick because they they would like hook it up and like you don't have to pay taxes sometimes like they would, yeah they were they were cool. Hell yeah! Shout uh, out to Dom. Brooklyn Dom. Man. Yeah, Dom, dude. Dom DeLuca. Mm-hmm. Um, and World Industries. Oh, I used to love that World Industries skateboards. That was like. I was talking like Flame Boy shit. Yeah, like, Wet Willie yeah. and Flame Boy <laughs> had all their merch. Yeah, I'm like, what I you would buy crazy. or you got sponsored by it? No, buy, no, this is like before I skated really. Mm-hmm. But no, I skated, but like I was like six or seven, like buying stickers. Like my dad would take me to like, like World Industry stickers yeah. and boards and stuff. This is like so I skated like when I was like really young, five, and then I had this gap, and then I started getting high school. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Damn, dude. That was real popular with the kids. <clears throat> Wet Willie? Wet Willie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, we around. just changed the show. See, we did all this at the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. so, so we threw everybody off. <laughs> now we're getting into it. Yeah, you know? yeah. So what hey. we do? We're trying to we reinvent it. Yeah, we're, trying to, we're trying to reinvent ourselves. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> technique. That's what we're trying technique, to do, technique. man. <laughs> no, but you try things, you mm. know, and figure it out, mm. and you're going to get the comments and everything, but you got to go with your gut. That's ultimately what it is. No yeah. Go with the gut. Yeah. If you enjoy it and if you enjoy it genuinely, generally people are going to enjoy it. Yes. Cause people are more similar than you think. For sure. For sure. It's a niche for everything. Man. I love it, man. I love it. Is there anything that we didn't cover that you wanted to cover? Um, you get my list. Your, you want to plug uh, anything? You want to plug any, uh, <clears throat> ax deals or what? I don't know. <laughs> Use Chris Chanick checkout. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I've sold out enough. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Listen, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. We love it. I'm a big fan of you for what you do on YouTube and just your skateboarding in general. Likewise. I think that's at the beginning of the show, I was trying to articulate that you were, you are a phenomenal skateboarder and the YouTube division between skateboarding you know what i mean like i think that you could have easily crossed over you know in that world is this my official welcoming yeah, yeah you've, been, you've been welcomed we're gonna give you some yeah, you want to shake you were right you right for the nine club now we're gonna give you some gear acceptance no but it's in, it's you know it's an interesting thing like we said it's uh it's this parallel universe and um it's it's an interesting <clears throat> thing to talk about, yeah. you know? It <laughs> is. For yeah, We talk no, about yeah. it all the time on the show, you know? And we get the comments that are on both sides yeah. and in the middle. So yeah. you we're know, not going to please everybody, <clears throat> no, you know? Yeah. But, but you know, something, to talk about. something that I realized too, though, in this is, because I always felt like, oh, like YouTube skaters, like I f- we feel so whatever, marginalized or whatever, mm-hmm. or even skaters and like that is so not exclusive to just skating like it's in everything like the tech community music like mm-hmm. yeah uh, there's there's that separation in a lot of things mm. and we're not special in that <laughs> even skaters back in the day you know they were lame and or whatever you know straight up and so it's cool you know we're just a little uh, punk rock right now a well, underground. It's, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because we live in our world that's all we do is think about skating you know yeah. what i mean so you, you like music you got what like soundcloud and you look at and people, yeah, big SoundCloud, time guys are like, rapper. well, that guy's just a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah. yeah then those dudes Dude, start killing right. the game. Yeah. yeah. And then they become popular. Yeah. So yeah. that's the same kind of, same type of deal. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just a different industry. So it's showcased different. And yeah. core musicians, if you want to call them that, right. look at those guys as like, dude, fucking SoundCloud. It's just another Probably. way of coming up. It's just another way. It's a yeah. new wave. Of, and it's new. Yes. That's why it's always disruptive to <laughs> what's happening currently. And Skaters yeah. are always like complaining about like, YouTube scares, but like, are we going to complain about Instagram skaters? TikTok skaters? Facebook skaters? Facebook skaters. Facebook skaters. skaters. Facebook skaters. <laughs> oh, shit. We're gonna yeah, at sure. this point, I don't think anyone cares anymore. To, at this point. Like, I, think, I, I, I think there's a lot of people that still care. I don't yeah. think it's about the platform. I think just people like certain personalities and some yeah. of them don't. Yeah. Like Those goddamn you know. TikTok skaters out there? Mm-hmm. They are now, yeah. It's a new yeah. thing. I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Facebook skaters by myself, but... Well, it's, you mentioned the dude that got mad or said like, oh, there was YouTube videos. They're not cool. Yeah. You're like, what? you were watching my videos, dude. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you were watching my videos and then after you watched it, you thought that like you, you keep watching the videos. Yeah. You're the one that has the problem. There's always people that like, you know what I mean? Like, 
And then well, I see, you see me out in the wild, and this is what you say to yeah, me. Yeah. Like, was... <laughs> you, you, you... But I got him commended, like, real talk, because, like, we don't hear that, like, that... It's always like through the fucking internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you hear it personally, I, I'll fucking laugh at your, I'll laugh in your face you say some shit like that. <laughs> That's real shit. You, yeah, okay. Let's <laughs> go. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Creative, you know, creative difference. That's all I always say. Creative difference. <laughs> Man. Oh, do you guys, okay. I have a interesting topic. Oh, please. Because you hear a lot of people say like, I think like a, uh, an out, uh, not an out, but like people say like, Oh, the person's just, you know, hating or they dislike something just because they're jealous or whatever. Mm. And maybe, and that, like, that's, that's, is that like a self defense mechanism that people just say? Or can someone just like not, not like something and that's just their opinion, I guess, you know? Without, oh, I guess without it depends. Being jealous what, of the person. Yeah, because most people are like, oh, these just jealous or yeah, their, their life just sucks. Right. But I mean, I'm sure, you know, not, I don't know, you know, like there's people that just don't like something, which is fine. Yeah, I don't know if jealousy is the right thing. Um, it's interesting to me that somebody would take the time out of their day to actually type something of a dislike that you don't like something. Yeah. Because like for me, it's like if I don't like something, I just change the channel. Like I'm not going to sit there and write why I don't like it. Mm. Right. So that's really bizarre to me that somebody would take the time to write that. So yeah. it's like, what is what is really going on with you mm -hmm. that you... Do you really it's, have it's, something? It's something going on with them more yeah. than you. Yeah. You know, it's like a projection of something what, going on with them. They want to be doing some shit, and them motherfuckers ain't doing nothing. So right. That's that. They they get to this place where they're just like, they want to hate on people just because it's gonna make them feel better. Sure. You know what I mean. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, because they have their own issues. Totally. They're trying yeah. to make themselves feel better because they're whatever's going and on. Maybe there could be a little dab of uh, jealousy in there too. You know, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I, that's just me. I just wonder why, why, why did you take the time for that? I don't understand. Like you really have nothing to do yeah. that you, when you want to yeah. write, like I, I, I just couldn't imagine commenting some bullshit. Cause if I see, like, shit, I that can't I imagine. If I see shit that I don't like on some real shit, I just don't eat, I, I move past it. Yeah. It's like, all well, right, later. Any like, successful person, like, you know, we said about P-Rod, P-Rod doesn't see something like, oh man, that sucked. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like P Rod's like is that's P Rod. P Rod don't have time for that. He has no that's time, it. and his mindset is f like positive. That, and again, people that are doing shit and that are actually like they ain't worried about people, or let alone to say something negative to yeah. that person. You know what I mean? It's, it's usually the people that are not doing shit. Exactly. That are hating, you know what I mean? Yeah. You you look at anyone commenting saying negative shit. It's usually someone that is not doing shit. Straight up. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, yeah, yeah. I, I was just considering, like, is it always that? Because that's what people usually say. It's like, um, oh, they're just jealous or they're just losers or whatever. Or, or, or can there be casual trollers or whatever? Right, you know? right, like, right. There's Listen, those, those I'm sure there are. Yeah. There are those oh, two, There are sure. just trolls out there. That's what they like and to they, do. And they actually are doing shit. <laughs> they actually like, are like, doing like some successful ass, <laughs> but like, it's very rare. I don't think that that type of individual is like always popping up, like, like a but senator those, or something. Those, <laughs> senator. Wait, hey, what, what about Kanye controller. West? Huh? Kanye West. Well, he's prime. Example. Oh, he's on. He's slap message board all day. Sure. <laughs> yeah. He's prime example. Like. No, but dude, but he pulled his last few weeks. Yeah, he's been on fire. Woo! Yeah, yeah. But, hey. Listen, constructive, <laughs> and, he's, and he's doing shit. That's what yeah, I mean. exactly. Right. Yeah, that's, I'll, yeah, I'll take constructive like criticism. He's, rare. All he's day. a rare individual. Mm -hmm. Right, constructive criticism. I'll take all day. Yeah, you know, right. That's, that's fine. Yeah, there's a difference. I guess, but a huh? hundred percent yeah. difference. But it's all the way it's presented. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, we just live in that world now. You know. Yeah, we'll probably have like five videos of responding to what we've said on this. Yeah, and then a video of that, and then it's just yeah, people make videos. You're, you're used to that by now, right? uh yeah i mean it's not like super often but yeah i've seen it yeah 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 wait so what prompted you to text me this time again around uh a i thought it was time but i think we had mentioned your name of some sort recently mm -hmm. and i was just like dude we, it's just time oh, like, we I all, gotta hit him up we all yeah. talk and we throw out names all the time you know oh no yeah i've I, no i've definitely seen Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Nice for sure. Yeah, well, that's sure. the funny thing about this show is like it always there's it's just timing. Yeah. It's just the way it works. We say it all the time. I, you know what I mean? Like there's people that we've talked to five years ago that are just coming on the show right now. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just timing. 
Yeah. And we don't rush anybody, you know, like you said, like I, I think I meant, I think I saw you at Battle of the Barracks a long time ago. Or even the thing? I don't oh, remember where it cries. was. Yeah, but before that, when I, because mm. I'm when I'm, usually I don't just say hey, you got to come on the show. But so some, yeah, sometimes, maybe at the but sometimes I do. At but like the barracks, at the no, barracks, no, no. we saw each other. The barracks, yeah, we did, yeah. yeah. And you're like, mm, uh, I don't know. I'm d- yeah, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, the I don't yeah, know. Yeah, at some yeah. point, yeah, like, sure. cool. that would be High cool. Wings. That would be cool. That's probably exactly what I said. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, when I hit you up, well, circle back around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. circle back around. I'll circle back, 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 around. back in a bit. Yeah. When I when I texted you though, I was like, I wonder what this response is going to be. Like, is, is it going to be like, oh uh, yeah? But you were, yep, I'm down. And I was like, that I knew it was going to that, that was time. Yeah, because you know? I saw the thought, man. Like, I don't want if I die tomorrow. I don't want to. I don't want to have not have gone on the nightclub. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta do this shit. Well, thank you for checking this off your bucket list. No doubt. Yeah. Bro. I gotta do amazing, it now, bro. Love it. This is our collab. This is our YouTube collab, dude. We oh, collaborated yeah. so yeah, hard. Hell yeah. yeah, we did a two and a half, three hour collab. How long has it been? Four hours. No, I'm just kidding. Five, two, yeah, almost two fifty. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I didn't think I could talk to that for that long. No, man. Once you get in the zone, about... bro, you, you really, it just starts to come together. Yeah. Yeah. You, we said before we started, you're like, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, oh, in like five minutes, you won't even realize what's going on. Yeah. yeah it's you, crazy how that works. I was right. very nervous. Yeah. And then you, is that, is that correct though? At once you kept going, you just forgot about it? Yeah. 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 No. It, uh, yeah. We had a couple drinks outside before I got there. There you go. <laughs> We're standing at the gate. Like, <laughs> weirdest thing for me, we have six cameras here. Five of them are pointing at us, and one's pointing at Kelly. Doesn't bother me. As soon as somebody breaks out an iPhone and starts doing this, I'm like, Oh yeah, Here in headlight. smoke starts coming out of my. I'm like short yeah. circuit. It's fucking bizarre. Well, isn't it interesting, right? Because we, you have control over these cameras, and then you don't have control over their camera. Like, what are you and doing? You're are like, you zooming in on my? Like, what I don't know. Doing? I don't know yeah. what doing. That makes total yeah. sense, dude. It's yeah. out of your control. So yeah, I did that. Uh, the local Rippers film festival thing. Yeah. And I was talking in front of people, like a live audience. Uh, and Paul was like, oh, you'll be great at this. And I was like, dude, I I like couldn't even speak. That's one thing that it, I, I get a lot too. Like, yeah. oh, you want to host this thing? You'll be good at it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I sit in a controlled environment <laughs> yeah. with a microphone and like, this is like our home, you know? Like, I feel very comfortable if right. like, <laughs> If like Lil Wayne comes in or whatever, because he's coming into our house, yeah. like I'm not going in, like we're not going over to his house to like film. I'd feel a little more like, whoa, this is weird. I can completely relate to that. You know what completely, I'm saying? Completely, yeah. Because we're, yeah, I'm filming with my friends, and it's like it comes off as very like, yeah, we're outgoing, we're having, you know, great everything, and then you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a fucking awkward guy, you know, and so it's like jarring for people. It can can be jarring for sure, people, right? They're like, you're you not know? how you are on your YouTube. What do you mean? Yeah, because yeah. even on video, you turn it on a little bit. You yeah, know? it's like this. You mm-hmm. got a little on off switch. That's yeah, how it that's is. the balance of trying to yeah, trying to capture you at your sparkling ist I mean we see it all the time it's like, yeah. it's the worst worst choice <laughs> I, get it, I was looking at his LaCroix yeah. <laughs> sparkling water gosh but we, it. But we see bad. it all the time too it's like Bam will come in and we all know Bam right yeah. he'll, he'll come on the show and be like yeah what's up just, you know, just hanging out and then he'll sit down camera's going he's like and he just goes yeah. and you're like dude this guy he's just turned it on yeah. 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 Totally. you're giving I me the content it's crazy dude yeah, yeah. like I feel like I couldn't do like the hosties type stuff. Mm-hmm. That would be hard for me. Right. For sure. But I, I feel like with my friends and even interacting with you know random people sometimes, but like yeah. to host like an event or something, gosh, I can never do that. But it's like the same thing where you said like if we came into your zone, you were with your friends, we're gonna make a video, like yeah, it'd be uncomfortable. Yeah. I'd have to warm up to the situation because <laughs> yeah. I'm coming into your house. Yeah. If you came in here with your little cameras and stuff and your friends, fine. Like I'm, I feel comfortable here. Yeah, yeah. Jaime, yeah. get the camera. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. My favorite was He's watching in. Chris at the at Street League in Salt Lake when you like they panned down to you and you were interviewing oh, yeah. and you're like, shit, this thing is heavy. But you said like this is live. To the, all the audience, and he screamed shit. That's it. It was really fucking funny. <laughs> the thing was heavy. <laughs> the trophy was heavy. 
Dude. And we were live. We were live. You had to express yourself. Before that, I had asked them, can I swear? And oh. they said, eh, as long as it's not excessive, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's tasteful. Sure. Sometimes yeah, it's on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know where it was. Yeah, wait, was it was it, live broad. Wait, wasn't on it YouTube. right? You yeah, said that one. Was no, no, no. It was uh, Gustav. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, listen, sometimes an <laughs> expletive is needed to describe the situation at hand. You know, don't and get I think that if people, I needed to just. It was shit. great. Since yeah, well, it didn't hit the same. If you're like, ah, oh, wow, that was wow, awesome. This is, this is heavy. Not <laughs> not it's like shit. Not at all. Don't hit the same emotionally. <laughs> well, the thing was is I think the thing that shocked me too was like I was I almost dropped it. Oh yeah. He yeah. handed it to me and I I didn't even. And I almost wait. dropped his fucking first place trophy street league. Jeez. So I said shit. <laughs> and they got I don't know why you have always bring it. It wasn't weird for oh, me. Oh, I was that. like oh, so no, what? but everyone <laughs> like for people that working there. Like I mean, Mike Mo, we're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's sick. It is. It was. I wasn't expecting. Well, and because we know you, yeah. That's yeah. why it was just funny. Like, oh yeah, Chris is the dude right there doing this. That's why it was uh, funny. Those are fun though. Yeah. Those are fun. You were good at it. You're good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. But that's just one on one with a little camera. It's not like a lot, like in front of a. Well, dude, I went, real yeah. quick to you, I was tripping watching the Super Bowl, mm. and right when it started, The Rock comes out, and he starts, and I was like, yeah. that is gnarly what he's doing right there. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, yeah. I wonder if he wrote all that stuff out, or if he's just freestyling it. What'd he do? He just went out, and like inter- when they did the kickoff, he's like, hey, we're, we've got this, uh, the Bengals, and the, he like introduces the teams. But I, I saw the day before he was doing a little pre-thing for okay. it, but I was like, I don't care what it is. That is gnarly. Right. To go in front of not only the stadium that's seventy thousand people, but you got the whole World, nation yeah. watching. Yeah. And you have a director in your earpiece. Yeah. That's true. Scary. So that's that's next level shit. Yeah. Rock, hurry up, rock. Hurry up. We got to <laughs> in your ear. Fuck, okay, I gotta do this real quick. Man. All right, sorry. Let's give uh yeah. let's get some can we give you some nightclub stuff to take home? Hell yeah. We're, gonna, we're sponsoring you. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. What size? Finally. Large, medium? <laughs> Uh, I'll do medium, yeah. Hey, all right. Doing your thing, YouTube. Yeah, you gotta get on the Twitch. I don't know. Yeah. Try it out. If you don't like it, whatever. It's just you know you probably have hook up your camera to it. The live this Take the it. live thing. The live thing feels exhausting, out. kind of. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, I can see that. But you can do your thing and just kind of chime in with the chat whenever you see something you want to talk about. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's like for an hour, like for like doing it for like seven hours, like people do that sounds like a lot or something. Well, they're most, preoccupied playing video games. Yeah, most about. people are like playing mm. like what they like to play, and then they got the chat there. But if you're just chatting, if you're just kicking it, chatting with the chat, I mean, you can, an hour. Mm-hmm. You know, when we mm-hmm. go into our green room here, uh, we just do like an hour. Yeah, yeah. Kick it, and then we raid somebody, and we out. No, it does sound fun. Yeah, it does sound fun. Like just talking. Yeah. yeah, it's just the interaction and like answering questions and shit. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. Should we do the green room after this? Shit, we need some dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. What about um? Uh, Say it. Well, <laughs> no. One time I asked Andrew Reynolds how much he made from a video game. He answered right away. Oh, I really? was shocked. Yeah, because I, I I wanted to ask you about you know how how much money and stuff like that in YouTube, but. It's a, it's a it's a touchy subject, you know. Some YouTubers uh, they do all the you know like they do the videos like how much does my channel make with one million views? How much did I make in one month? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Super interesting, you know. But at the same time, again, it's kind of a weird topic, you know. Of course. Skateboarders growing up, we never were, uh, talked about money. Yeah. You know, it was like Jaron and I could be on the same team, doing the same thing on the same tours, and we'd never ask each other like how much that we made. Yeah. Unless maybe we, it was like something was on the table or, you know what I mean? But it would pretty much be yeah. a closed conversation. You know, no, yeah. Really, we wouldn't have those But in like any other sport, it's like you can see what motherfuckers yeah. are getting made. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it's like easy, accessible. Like, oh, I yeah. can find out. You know oh, yeah. I mean? right. This guy's yeah. got a five-year deal that's $72 million. It's like, okay, that's yeah. what he's got. Yeah. You know? Skateboarding is and I guess I, I, I want to be as like transparent as possible. But yeah, it is like a weird... It's no, weird, right? I wish I could just talk about it, I guess. Yeah. But no, but it's, well, I understand. I'll though. say the it's a okay, weird. I'll say the the brand okay the brand deal I turned down the the skincare thing yeah that one was like for forty forty 000. grand yeah for how many videos it was like two videos or two or three video two YouTube videos and then like three Instagram posts and like two stories or something like that oh wow 
They have it laid out of, like it's that. It's a lot yeah. of money. Yeah, it's a no, lot of money, dude. No, yeah. And how long ago that was, was that presented? One. Huh? How long ago was that presented to you? Um, that was a couple of year, a couple of years ago, maybe okay. two or three years ago. Wow. I could see you working it in to things, but that uh, that would be to. Did they want you to do it a certain way, or they give you free range to be creative? like whatever you wanted to do um i don't remember but it was pretty heavily like integrated it'd be mm. like it's pretty yeah it would be Obvious. like a thing again like yeah. it's like, mm. yeah you know but damn yeah well it's funny you, you put the numbers out there already yeah. when the adidas numbers got out there and came back to you, you inflated know, it, it, i don't remember what they were what the inflation what the inflated number was <laughs> but no i mean like the, yeah that was a good that was a good pay i'm sure it's good pay. i'm yeah, sure for man that, for that time listen being. As it should be. There's value in that. No doubt. You know, yeah. I mean, there's value in having you <clears throat> repping something. You know, that's why we're going to give you these stickers right now for your board, bro. <laughs> yeah. Chris put Chan. On my, put on my blank board. Dude, thank you so much for coming <laughs> yeah, by. Dude, thank you, bro. Thank this you, has been dude. great. Dude, bro. Um, first of all, <clears throat> 40 grand, huh? It's <laughs> 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 a lot of money. Here's a mug for you. Oh, dude, this is sick. It's our burning oh. mug. That's Shit. what we call it. Damn. Is this new or you guys have uh, We've had those for a while. Okay. Yeah. Sam Pearson drew those for us. Fuck yeah. Um, I need a mug. You do? Yeah. We just, got more in there too. I just started. I just be, decided to become a tea drinker. Nice. Oh, what kind of tea? English um, breakfast? Earl Grey? Um, Green tea. Right he just now, jazz, he doesn't uh, know what kind of tea is out there yet. No, but. I mean, I have a Sleepy few. time. No. Oh. No. I sleep pretty pretty good. Okay. But I... If I needed to, I would for sure. Just like yeah, green green tea. Green tea. No, that oh. sounds so. I have teas, but I don't know the names of them. Like the caffeinated egg, herbal Chinese stuff. Sometimes caffeinated tea has more caffeine in it than coffee. You know that? Oh, I can't do the coffee. The oh, caffeine stuff. Coffee? Oh no. really? You know? Caffeine? I check. I check if it has caffeine because it anxiety and stuff. Uh, What's the uh, the drink uh, called? The tea. Oh my god! The, the... Bang energy. <laughs> Now, no, have, they re- cool. have they reached out to you? How much you get paid for that right now? <laughs> no, the, Wait, for what? For Bang Energy? Yeah. <laughs> what was the... That was the hard alcohol... Or what's the alcoholic drink? Oh, uh, fuck. What, Beer? No, tea. It's like hard tea. Oh, man, I'm oh, blanking. Uh, Mike's? My- Twisted, Twisted, Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea. He loves that yeah. shit. <laughs> That's the type of tea you Andrew like. loves that. Oh, so. Andrew likes the tea. Here's, yeah, uh, I think you brought one. <laughs> We did a collab with Grip Six. We got a Grip Six belt gotcha. right there for you. What? It's a beautiful belt, man. I wear it. Jubs wears it. I don't tell you. Jubs? Live no, dubs. The dubs. Oh, they said Jubs. It's Dude, a good. I always, uh, I always need a belt. <laughs> yeah, always. I have one. It's like fun. J Jubs. J Jubs wears it. <laughs> you guys are doing your thing. It's a, we're doing our thing, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the club dot com, baby. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. anyway, switch flip, switch Manny shirt. Boom. That thing. Boom. Boom. We get Never those get in, they sell out. I had to crazy. save that in the back yeah. and hide it from people. Yeah. So, so you, hot, I want last one. I need Chris to have that. Uh, here's a, um, a little crew neck. Crew neck for you. Hell and last yes. but not least, we got a. Is this a medium? Yes, yeah, a nine club hoodie. Damn, thank oh, you. And the stickers for uh just Oops. do some product next video, yeah. you know, product placement. Dude, I'm t- throw some stickers on around. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's our cola. Put it on your Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That'll work. All good. over I the f- Yeah, all, dude, all we'll over the the NASCAR <laughs> style. Yeah. <laughs> Twisted tea and nightclub. <laughs> Actually when we were filming that sorry, that's keep going but no go 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 <laughs> when we were filming that skate video that i was talking about well i didn't go into detail but the one skate video that we put out it's called Havar. um we were secretly filming you at the the um slappy curbs spot you were filming i was gonna ask you yeah to get a clip in it but we were just secretly filming you where were you where were you where were you posted the slap- <laughs> where were you posted on you oh no where were you posted like at the spot like- i was skating it with you but i had my filmer i was like yeah. yo film chris Oh, I didn't probably, I probably didn't get anything. Huh? You were close. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> but I didn't want to say like. You almost made it. What was I trying? Dope trick. It was Dope. good. I don't remember, but it was good. Thank you, Crook. Maybe I, it was I, maybe I, a slappy front crook something. Though. I probably knew that. So well, I think the, the slappy front crook to, to move it over to 5-0 or something. When I first started slapping the curb down there. Um, very interesting to try to slap you. It's, you know, it's learning a whole new thing, not to Ollie and everything. But um, I think I saw you down there and that you actually inspired me to do the front crook. No way. On there. Yeah, because you would oh, hold that for a long time. And I was like, damn, I want to front crook that whole fucking ledge. I inspired the you? The whole block. 100%. Oh, my God. Because you'd get on a front crook and just hold it. Boom. Come out. I'm like, damn. 
Megan Chris Franklin. Chandler. What an honor. Yeah, because I see you did some crazy one recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Big Spin Out or something. Yeah. I always do crazy shit. Dude. Yeah, I don't know. I was sick. I was uh, really sick. <laughs> so I didn't make it in the video. The next one you will. Well, if you have to land the trick, dude. Yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes YouTube videos, they put the you know outtakes in and stuff like that. I also didn't ask your permission, so. Yeah, you Chris know. would have sued you or something. I jive Jacoby and Myers. <laughs> I would have sued your ass. Right. Jacoby and Myers. <laughs> they're, te they're television lawyers. <laughs> I, they, I, I just thought, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah. I briefly heard. I wasn't sure. But. Chris know. Chan, thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for coming by and yeah, kicking it and putting up with our bullshit that we, you know, spew. Yeah, no, thank you guys. I, I appreciate it for having me. I hope that there's not too much, uh, I hope I get too roasted and toasted in the comments. Oh, I don't no, think so. you know what, dude? This is a good time and you're a good guy and this is, Thank you for coming on our show. Yeah, Dude, bro. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Anytime you, it would be fun actually once you do some, you know, if you were going to say you'd have a little YouTube thing, call, uh, new, new, new channel, new project mm -hmm. stuff going on. We got our stop and chat. You can come by anytime. We got our Twitch room over there. You can come by, test out the Twitch thing, you know? Yeah. Come by and be like, yo, I'm in the area. Can we go jump on Twitch? Yeah, let's go. Actually, I was on my laptop at some point somewhere on the chat. And we were talking about, wouldn't it be funny? I'm like, hey, I'm outside. <laughs> you guys that was pretty ready? recently, actually, yeah. Oh, and then when we were doing the live thing in the chat? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, chat. yeah. Yeah, come up on the door. Man, I'm here. Are you just come kick it, dude. I'll do that next time. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You sit right next to me and Steezus. Hell yeah. Oh, oh and like an experience? In, yeah. In between? Yeah. Oh. You sit on my lap. I don't How care. How are we going to share? We don't have another mic. Oh, every time he we wants share? to talk. He's a, he's Did a, it at one point me and Elby? Like, just like tap you on the shoulder. Oh, shit. I'll come back. I come back. I would love to come back. Perfect. Kick it on the experience show. Chris Chandler. Let's do a skit. <clears throat> Absolutely. X deal. Nope. Life is a skit. X deal. Yep. All right. Uh, thank you, Chris, for coming yeah, by. We really appreciate it. I have like 10 outros or what? Mm -hmm.